Well, we are back against all the odds. Here we are live. Uh, we made it. <laughs> dude, they said, not only did they say we would never be back, they said we would never be live again. Did they say anything about our set? Dude, they said they would never change the set just for another kind of theme for the show. But here we are, you know, in one week's time. Look what these guys whipped up, dude. We got a, we got a makeshift LED. We got a cool ass backlighting, and we're live in a cool, dimly lit room after dark. Thematic. What's up? Wow. Super excited. I gotta tell you, I was out really looking forward to today. I really like these Friday episodes. Me I mean, too. I know we only had one, but I think it's a blast. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Uh, we have a heck of a show here today, guaranteed to be demonetized. I think I'm men spreading you. You should come towards me. Oh, for real? Look at you, dude. Must have a big one, Eva. <laughs> to spread that wide. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the theme of... of after dark of course is that we save all of the stuff we would have to usually cut from our episodes because it's going to get us demonetized or claimed or what have you and because of our gracious beautiful members that are supporting us directly we can basically just come here and let it rip <clears throat> before that though we have a special message from a friend of the show they sent this in for us mm. to play yeah it was super nice of them here let me let me play this Hey everyone, it's me, Leafy is here. I just want to say you should become a member of the H3 podcast. It's only $5 a month and worth every uh, penny I put into it. You should become a member too. How do they, how do people do that? I've been seeing these all around the internet lately. Like you take a photo and you can, how, what kind of freaky dark magic is this? I don't know. This is uh, this is the future. So so our Discord is like popping off the chain. Like we have brilliant minds in our Discord. It's, somebody made this there, right, Dan? Uh, yeah, it's a, a guy named Cameron who's actually a meme master. Shout oh. out to that guy. He's been uh, bringing a lot of fire recently. He made the uh, the Mecca Gatsby. That is this Cam Grant? Yeah. Oh, what a legend. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, actually, there was another message, though, from a friend of the show. Just because the membership thing is such an important thing in our, uh, Hello, in our community. And, like, it's just so we would be tapping all of our resources to get special messages. So uh, here's another one. Hello, everybody. It's me, Killer Keemstar. The news today is that it's more than <laughs> worth it to invest in the H3 podcast. If you become a member today for only $5 up. a month, you get all kinds Teddy of wonderful Fritz. benefits. Wow, that shit is so freaky. That's so nice of him to you do. You get all kinds of yeah, wonderful benefits. Yeah, super nice just for him to set aside his, uh, all of his beefs. <laughs> Excuse me. Jesus. Sorry about that, everybody. Um... Well, he made good on his promise to get the Teddy Fresh. He's investing, so it'll be his I'm someday. I guess he meant to get the sticker on his laptop. making me happy. What's that, Keemstar? I'm going to take your kid's college fund, and it's making me happy. Oh, yeah, okay. well, I could see that, why that would make you happy to uh, target a one-year-old child. <laughs> but fair enough. You know, we've got, so basically, you, last episode, first of all, how's everybody doing? How's the chat? How's everybody? The chat is popping. Chat is popping. Uh, Everyone's. Lots of Papa blesses. Papa blesses. Thank you guys. Papa bless right Somebody back to you. broke as fuck, but here's $25 because I love you guys. That's oh, dude. Really nice come on. Probably shouldn't do that if you're broke. Yeah, as fuck, wait man. for the yeah. stimulus check. Then give me that. <laughs> Just kidding, obviously. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, though. So, in the last episode of the podcast, which um, many of you guys may have seen, we did a Karen tier list. And there was a few Karens that were too uh, not safe for life or work or whatever that we saved for today. Oh, yeah. okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, dude. We're, oh. dude it, this, this show is so well integrated. <laughs> because I'm serious. We would have just cut this. We would have never known about these violent, crazy Karens. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is one of my favorite Karens. Uh, she was, v like, dragged, her ass was dragged out of a store for not wearing a mask. Now, the story is, apparently, she was, like, pepper spraying people before. Yeah. Of, of course it happened in Long Beach. Long Beach, the OC is, like, 
what's what's the deal with the OC in California? It's just south of Los Angeles, and it's like bizarre Los Angeles where everyone there is like MAGA, um, MAGA out. I don't know. There's probably all kinds of people there, and you probably don't know what you're talking about. Uh, it is a generalization, <laughs> but but I think it's like. Well, we went boating there, and every boat was like MAGA. It depends country. on what part of Orange County. Weird, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, here's Karen, or OC yeah, Karen. Get, get out of here! Get, get, out. get the fuck out of here! Get out of here! Give me my keys! Get out! 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 I mean, <laughs> a woman is like an Amazon warrior. I gotta rewatch that. <laughs> but basically, do we like this? Do we like the uh, vi- love the explosion it. of the? The thing is, like, I think if you just look at that, you'd be like, oh, dude, you know, the left celebrating violence. I think she was uh, pepper spraying people and just acting a fool, you know. Yeah. But look, listen, I I don't have very much tolerance for these mask truthers. I don't think they have a right to put the general public I mean, at risk like that. No, they don't. And the consequences are actually big. So So I would say in the words of a uh, little little uh, Zan, Zach, what what do we say? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Atta boy. Get out. Right. Real quick uh correction here. Uh, Long Beach is LA County. It's not actually OC. What? Yeah. It's not What did you no say? No way. It it's Orange County, Long Beach. Uh, uh, Long Beach Crypt, Orange LA, County. LA you better fact County. check that. Long Beach, California. Dude, the LBC, Long Beach Crypt. Welcome <laughs> I to love this. Have to do it. Okay. Because uh, uh, it's it's definitely OC. Well, we cannot get anything right. <laughs> Nobody cares. Not even like, which like, county? Long Beach. It's, <laughs> L- it's LA County. <laughs> All right. Well, see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Look to what you've the done. Ethan's show. gone. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe that. I look like I'm <laughs> such an idiot. Well, it's on the border. I mean, it, it, it's the next town over is OC. Okay, so it's, it's the very Nobody south. cares. They're like, dude, they're literally arguing about which cities in LA County. They're like, wow, who cares? <laughs> so somebody took her keys. My fave is she's like, she's so desperate to just gra- grab onto anything. She grabs a bottle. Get out. She doesn't even know what it is. We'll leave a damage behind. Right here. Look at this. She's like, bottle. A cleaner. I'm gonna squirt you. <laughs> Damn, I got it. That lady's strong. I can tell you. Bruh. Oh my god. Bruh. Lil Xan, thoughts? <laughs> Where's Lil Xan? Lil Xan, we need thoughts. Lil Xan. Get out! Fell asleep. Lil Xan. Um, Lil Xan. Okay. Lil Zach? Little Zan, we need thoughts on this. Get out! <laughs> wow. Jesus. All right. <laughs> little Zan has taken too much Xanax today. Yeah. He's a little too chilled out. So here's a yacht, Karen. Actually, I haven't seen this one. Is this one super violent? Resorts to violence when she doesn't get her way. This is one that a, a <clears throat> lot of people said you left this out. Um, this is one. Okay. Yeah. In the comments and stuff. So, uh <clears throat> Keep sending us the ones we left out because we will do part two. Yes. We are we already have a lot lined up for part mm-hmm. two because people Apparently have, there's racist Becky. Is that Oh Becky's someone who's racist, right? I guess. So Karen's aren't by nature racist, it's just Becky's that get that? I think Karen is more uh, uh, whiny. They seem to be mixed up. Yeah, but it, I think the lines blur. Hmm. <laughs> They're best friends. Karen, Karen and Becky. Yeah. Okay. Be quiet, be quiet. This is not, are you 35? Look at her, look at her. Have you paid for this one? Did you pay for it? It is not booked until oh gosh, June looks so fucking angry. first. Okay, sir. Karen. So there is no right for you to uh, be here. Okay, Karen. I am not fucking Karen. Oh, no, okay. There is no right for you to be here. Okay. Okay. Fucking disrespectful. Go to your own slot or... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. is it her slot? I don't know. I'm confused. 
I have to say, whenever someone calls someone a Karen in person to their face, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And it takes away from it because yeah. it, 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 this guy's out there trying to prove this woman's a Karen. You have to let her prove she's a Karen. Yeah, because you are being insulting and rude and then like hard to judge her that way. Yeah, you can't be self-aware about it. It needs to be... It just it can't be uh, tarnished like that. So, so this dude is losing points. I don't like it. Yeah, the minute you call someone a Karen when you're f filming, you become yourself a Todd. Oh, someone's saying the guy version of Karen should be Kim. Kim. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, it's such a weird name. It is a weird name. And his first name's Dan, so I don't know how Dan Dan. Oh no, I don't like that. No way. Daniel. Well, what about the whole name Daniel? Daniel. I, I don't want to do that to Daniels. Okay. Oh my god, <laughs> tone it down. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. Who are you both in your own fucking slide? You what up? Okay, we got you. What else do you want? We're being really nice to you. This is you ridiculous. Ridiculous. They know where. You're being really nice. You screamed at my daughter. I screamed at her. Screamed at her. <laughs> so they're next to them? Be quiet. <laughs> god, both so sides are pretty difficult. <laughs> Yeah, but there's a really? lot of drama on the high seas. The low seas, really. <laughs> we got six feet here. You're not six feet from our boat. Get away. Oh, they're okay. too close. On Mother's Day, oh, yeah. a boat. Oh. Oh, oh she's yelling okay. at her mama What's now. What's the problem? <laughs> So it's, it appears that they're in a slot next to them that they haven't officially reserved. They're boat neighbors. How do you know they haven't reserved it? Because that what she was saying about the number? Yeah, because I, he, I, I could be wrong about that. I mean, I might be making assumptions here, but she doesn't like her there. Oh, really? Your dog? Why are you like that? Because Good question. We're being so nice to you. This is not your morning. If you paid to moor your boat here, there would be no issue, sir. Yeah. This boat is not mooring. What number? This is 35. I like that sound bite. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> oh, really? Just go to your yes! Memory. So what's the problem in 35? That you do not book this fucking slot! Get away! Did she say book so this fucking slot? Don't hit me. Don't touch me. Oh, she's getting ready to don't throw touch down. Me. Just don't touch me. Just go don't in your me. boat and zip yeah. it up and have a good time. What is the problem, though? You need to leave. <laughs> Be quiet. Both of you. be quiet. Just be quiet. She, she, she. Oh no, dad's coming out. Is and which what you fucking are you? No, I, I wouldn't. Who are you? My name is Richard M. Trump. What is your name? Oh I don't give oh a shit God. about it's what my name is. I don't have to oh, give my oh, name. Oh, oh no! I don't have to give my name. Oh! Look, Karen and Co. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So, so now I'm gonna call the police on you. So now I'm going to have to, you, both of my daughters, I, both of my girls, no, uh, I'm going to call the police. Yeah, I feel bad, I don't know what's wrong with people, weird. man. <laughs> Get out! Get out! Yeah, uh, maybe he did pay for it because, I mean, I don't know why I assumed that. I think I read that somewhere. Uh, why are people like that? I guess that's what he said too. It's like, why? Are you, why do you have to be oh, like that? She's got issues. Yeah, but the whole family was getting down with it. Yeah. Uh, that one was pretty high up there for sure. Actually, the both of them were pretty high up there. And there's one more predator, Karen. What? Which sounds pretty badass. <laughs> Oh, this is a new one, right? I haven't, see, yeah. I didn't actually... Oh, I actually saw this. So, should I start from this timestamp? So, what happens leading up oh, to that... Oh, what the hell is all this? It's like a, to catch a predator. So, they're texting, pretending to be an underage girl. Okay. And she's texting with the girl, saying that her and her husband want to hang out. Oh, gross. Yeah. And then the girl's like, I'm 17 or something, and she's still continues to like invite her over even though she said her age and they she asked her like have you ever had sex before or stuff like that so definitely like straight up chris hansen territory straight up definitely <laughs> this is actually a new one i don't think i've ever seen the yeah the wife who's grooming for the, to bring back to the husband that's pretty interesting yeah 
Okay, fantastic. Well, I see they've got receipts here. Uh, they're just yeah, showing lots it, of receipts. The, we don't need to watch all that. It's pretty she's long. She's definitely doing the the Korean sign. Oh, let's see like, the, the no here's the couple. Her. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah. You you that says all you oh, yeah, know about the dude. There's a few pictures of her, so it it doesn't seem like you know someone just put up a fake photo. It just actually does look like her. Who the the light the, the Karen lady that shows up Karen yeah. Predator yeah Karen <laughs> yeah here oh she looks crazy in that photo see Google you gotta figure out okay they say can you send a pic with three fingers and she sends this oh you just played yourself Karen Predator <laughs> talk to me baby talk to me baby it came in quiet then talk to me baby that's right well she's under age then I don't again it's like what's, what's the channel I wonder if we should say the name of the channel oh sure yeah d uh uh they have they have these like groups uh dap is a group focused on protecting the youth from dangers online what is dap dad dads against predators oh uh. i wish their name was dab instead of Pete dap so they could dab on the predators dab. so when when they confront them they're like you just got dabbed on <laughs> 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 be awesome <laughs> but it's okay they're trying their best they you know not everyone has a marketing genius but like <laughs> all right so uh here we go this is exciting why do they gotta groom i was like why do you gotta go for like a 16 17 year old just go on you would have no problem finding someone who would like to partake in that activity right zach <laughs> Like, you wouldn't have to look for an underage girl. Is oh, that... they're saying Dap is like Ben Shapiro's wife. Dap? Dry-ass pussy. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but you just did. Dap. <laughs> I, we, gotta, we need that rap song to be made. Got that dry-ass pussy. Need that Vaseline wipe. <laughs> ben Shapiro. Got that sex appeal. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, nah, uh, fuck. Let's just move on. How's it going, Beth? I think you know why we're here. I feel like I've known here, right? people like her. I can cause a scene if you don't want to be honest. Who's this? We're dads against predators. Okay. You just got dabbed so on. We catch people dabbed on. Trying to solicit online kids. Well, I'm glad you're here. Right. Because the only reason I came down was to wipe the Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's why to wipe? Wipe, to wipe the phone. So she comes up with the dumbest excuse. She apparently l asked the girl to come in anyway because she wanted to wipe the phone. Make wow. no sense. Well, it's really an admission of guilt because she's yeah. like, she's like, yeah. <laughs> there and is she's like, yeah, to be wiped. I got to wipe my phone, dude. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were doing something wrong, wasn't she? <laughs> I have all the screenshots. Yeah. So, is this some Epstein shit where they like just want to control a young girl? Probably. Because I don't understand why you wouldn't just go for some of age. I thought you wanted her to have fun with your husband and you were scared she was a cop. No. That's what you said. Yeah, so that you could come so I could wipe your phone. Because why would you want to wipe his phone? You knew she was. You knew she. How old she was? You kept on saying, "I'm scared. I I don't want the cops to come. I don't want to get in trouble." Man, this is not the time for these kinds of activity. I mean, not exactly cool. I don't think it's cool to meet up with children. Look how beautiful she is. Ben, this is not. I didn't pay attention to this. Until Wrong. after the fact, and then so said, after this oh, is over, shit. after this so is over, then, listen. No, let me you cut you off because me. you keep lying. Wait, wait, wait. You keep lying. All right, you just took, didn't he just you just tell me that you, you had let message. me speak? Okay, I'll let you speak. So okay, she's, I'm sorry. She's I'm the sorry. You're right. I'll let you speak. Like that's why. You if you're her. not, then I'll yeah. No, I see the 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 crossover. Bring her out there with your husband. Should I watch this whole thing? How good does it get? No, it doesn't change much. It's the same tone. It's more of that. She just doesn't let go. Let me skip ahead because I'm surprised they talk for so long. I would just bail. I was like, okay, you got me. You know what I mean? They'd stay there. You for got me. <laughs> I was trying to fuck a kid. You know? Look how beautiful she is. That's just man. It's ridiculous. Why would you ask her what have all what have you done with the child? Like what have you done with the girls? Why would you ask her that? I wasn't meaning to ask her that. Who was meaning to ask? I was meaning to ask somebody else. Oh, you accidentally sent that? Yeah. Uh, 
I see. Actually, it. I can show you how many different girls I've already asked that. Okay. So, how many of them are underage? Yeah, you can look. That's what we care about. There you go. You're trying, to, you're trying to bring a little 15 year old girl in the. I love how she's just you smart. Uh, let's see. This one is yeah. 25. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, here, you can look without that. But you were cool with it. Alright, I'm over it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty mm. epic. Mmm. <laughs> we got any donation donos anything to to uh, uh to read off i don't want to uh yeah i don't want to neglect our good uh fair supporters here uh, Fupa God, uh you look healthy as fuck inspired me to try the feeding window how has that been treating you how's that been treating you Ethan? well are you even doing the window I was for a, for a minute. I was doing the feeding window, which was like I had like a six hour feeding window. Yeah, it was going a good for a minute, but like here's what happened. You went out I the fell door. Into, what? You went out the door. <laughs> I walked out, never looked back. I went for forty ounces and never returned. Uh, here's what happened: is like I was doing it for two weeks, and then it was hard, but I was really committed. And I stepped on the scale, and I lost like you know. Two, three pounds. And I was like, dude, I was like, I'm so disappointed that that's all I've lost. That being said, I wasn't committed. I wasn't exercising. And I was kind of like, during that window, I was going a little window wild. (laughs) So I don't think I did it right. (laughs) Holy shit, bro. Oh. Yeah. But I really want to, I'm just, dude, I hate being fat so much. And I'm just, I really want to, to lose weight. I feel like. I don't you, want a trainer. You <laughs> should get a trainer. I don't like trainers. <laughs> Why not? Because it's like, they just tell you to do the shit you already know. It's just, just by peer but pressure. It yeah, you to but do the peer it. pressure is the important part. They're like, exactly. okay, no, run, ar- run around the building. It's like, okay, cool. But are you doing <laughs> no, it right do now? No, do a push up. <laughs> it's like, I could have done all that at home. But. <laughs> But you, but you don't. <laughs> it's like a whole schlep. You get, you go to the trainer, then they tell you, okay, now what you need to do, to you. now what you need to do <laughs> is do 10 push-ups. I'll be like, oh, dude, that's epic that he told me to do 10 push-ups. First of all, G-Man. I just want to say that you're actually getting um, compliments. Kendra said that you're more attractive now than ever. Because I'm uh, fat. Oh, 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 oh. Now that's a lady. <laughs> yeah. Ela does not share that opinion. <laughs> and frankly, I don't blame well, her. You should see me with my shirt off, Kendra. I don't. I look I, like a tub of butter. It's not that simple. <laughs> I just, I do want you to get healthier. And you can think that it's an excuse. But I truly think that you should get Listen. healthier right now there's nothing first of all i know that you're i know that that's your but there's nothing wrong with saying look dude you're fat and i don't want to fuck you <laughs> i wouldn't say that. you know what Ela said <laughs> she said the other day because we're we're trying to get pregnant again and so you can imagine Wait, a lot of fornicating Uh-oh. i have a feeling you didn't understand me i already know where you're going and she said to me, dude, you got to lose weight because oh, that. I have back pain because you're so fat. When you mount me, <laughs> oh, no. my Wait, back what? hurts. <laughs> what? I was like, hmm. <laughs> Interesting. That might be the sign. Dude. That might be the sign. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I took that seriously. I took that seriously. Is, is there like a certain position that increases your chances of getting pregnant more? No, I, I think that's bullshit. So. Yeah. <laughs> but um, great, let's share everything, Ethan. Well, it's just a funny anecdote. <laughs> you know, it's relevant to uh, what we're talking about. I think you should get a trainer. Mm. Hate it all you want. That's the purpose. They make you exercise. Right now, you're not exercising. Yeah. Okay, dude. Now you're gonna do <laughs> ten uh, jumping jacks. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. I've been, and then you do it. I'm gonna, it's going to happen, and everyone's going to be super proud of me. And I'm also, fantasizing about I that. Think Visual, to... Visual Science just donated $50. Said, bro, Uh-oh. go to a trainer. I was skeptical like you, but it works. Oh, Thank you, first of all. 50 bucks on that. Yeah, thank you wow. for the donation. He's just paid for my first now lesson. Now you have to. <laughs> thank you, man. Now I you're appreciate. obligated. Well, I'll tell you, I went to a trainer. I've, done, I've tried it before. Like years ago. Yeah, yeah, no, I tried it, and, I mean, it's good, but, like, the whole schlep of it, of, like, going, and then they come can come back. to you. 
So. Okay, dude. Here's what we need to do today. <laughs> We're going to do one pull-up, run around the house, and then do 20 jumping jacks. Great. I'll be like, fuck you. <laughs> I can do that. I don't need Bruh. you here. <laughs> when was the last time you done that? Never. Last time I had a trainer. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you get all yoked, though. Like, yoked, Ethan. What, Just Zach? Shredded. Like, you get all shredded. Looking all yoked. And I'm jacked. not gonna get shredded. I uh, that will never happen. Want him to? But I, it's but I would like to lose a lot of weight. You know, I look back at my old videos when I was um, a fair bit skinnier, and I'd be like, I'd suck his dick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But what's what's <laughs> weird is that even then, I thought I was fat. Yeah, that is weird because now when I look at it too, you look totally skinny. Yeah, it looks super like good and healthy. Yeah. You know, it's funny how that is. I, I think um, there's a lot of requests for dead air, or maybe it's just the same you person. Just dead air? It. I'm not oh, sure. No. How many people we got? How, why are you gonna put all these people through dead air? <laughs> maybe as soon as I said it, I realized maybe it's just the same person. You want me just yeah. one? It's yeah. the one guy he's asked like okay. two hundred times. Okay. No dead air, bro. You you go go watch static. <laughs> We got a uh, fifty dollar donation from Ryan Kelly, who said, "We better be seeing Mayo on Dan's dome today." Oh. Yeah. First of all, thank you for the fifty dollar donation. Uh, We've been talking happening. a lot about this. We're definitely going to get Mayo on Dan's dome. It's, not happening. it's just a matter of when. You just put fifty dollars on it. Yeah, do you not care Wait, about our fans? I wasted mean, your money, bro. Oh my goodness! Stop! Don't be rude. <laughs> <laughs> well, he Dan said he'd do it for charity. Uh, yeah, I guess. <clears throat> If like if we gone, raise like wow. a huge, uh, it's just so you guys are, you're, you're overhyping it. It's not going to be that good. It's not going to be as good. Yes. Who yes. It, it was so. good. Zach had a bunch of hair. It was hilarious because it got all stuck. No, in but there. you have well, a, no. you have this weird mayonnaise aversion. It's up to yeah, us but... to enjoy it and we will enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. It'd be amazing. <laughs> Sorry guys. I got this. <clears throat> anyway. Your garf, your garf, uh, <clears throat> or what did you call it? Oh, my, my GERDs. GERDs, your GERDs. <laughs> it's, that, it's what you call the acid reflux disease that I have. Really? GERD gang. <laughs> I got to do something with the GERD gang. Yeah. Right? Is that, can someone fact check me on that? GERD? GERD. It, it is uh, GERD, yes. What does it stand for? Uh, gastric. Oh, I got another 50 donation. Were it's gastroesophageal fans? reflux disease. GERD gang. GERD gang. How many, <laughs> how many of my peeps in the chat got that GERD? <laughs> GERD is hard as fuck. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm sorry. I'll be just so... <clears throat> What's going on? Man? There's a lot of requests for a Trisha Moses update. <clears throat> well. <clears throat> All right, I'm just going to let the... Trish should I just get, should I just spill Moses. the beans? Trish and Moses. Should I just spill the fucking beans? Wait, what kind of bean? The big bean. The big no. bean? No. Okay. You don't want to spill the big bean? You can I spill the garbanzo bean. <laughs> well, we're going to have Trisha on soon, but they're actually doing well, I have to say. It seems like they're we happily dating. and so discovered that they're actually just a couple. <laughs> and so I just kind of, I'm been forced to accept that. I don't know I if this is... I'm a, happy for them. I just, I think the biggest problem was <clears throat> the confusion around everything the whole time. The secrecy. The confusion. Yeah. Well, right. Moses kept denying it to you guys, right? And then you yeah, see he would pictures say, of them together. Yeah, he would go, we're just friends. And then all of a sudden, they make a TikTok together where, where or, she's a, voicing a 12-year-old girl. <laughs> you remember that shit? It's so weird. And Moses is like, daddy, disciplining 12-year-old. I mean, <clears throat> anyway, they're dating, He's so I'm happy liar for him. Now. Now, who's yeah. the liar now? I, I, I don't know if this I is just... I'm happy for them and... Um... They actually sound really cute together. It's crazy. Yeah, I have I to admit know. that there's some weird actual chemistry between the two of them. Somehow, it's wild. <clears throat> but we're gonna, she's gonna come on. We're gonna talk about it in more detail. But when he told us, we realized season two worked out that, again. That's the right. epiphany. The Bachelor <laughs> is so far 100% successful. <laughs> <clears throat> you never know what's gonna happen on this show. Think about it, Ian is now dating Sam, who moved cross-country to be with him. They live together now. Moses <clears throat> and Trisha. Uh, this is a love connection that would have never 
happened in a billion years. But through yeah. the magic of of the H three Bachelor, we've we've forged two successful impossible loves. <laughs> <laughs> Clap those cheeks. Yeah. So I think that's pretty exciting. But we're gonna have her on. We're gonna talk about it and. Uh, there's actually some really other exciting news, but these guys are saying I can't announce it. Well, you gotta live some stuff. Show your whole hand. Yeah. No, why not? They're saying no. They're vetoing, guys. Sorry, <laughs> but you'll find out soon enough. But it's good. It's exciting. <laughs> <clears throat> God, this is I unwatchable. Love the gird, man. <laughs> Good king. Word is real. All right, what else we got? Um, H three All Star. Can I watch this or is this? I mean, I guess we can. Fuck it. What is that? Is this good? The H three All Star cover. I mean, it, it's what you think it is. <clears throat> All right, here we go. History podcast forever. Somebody once told me that the dude next to me has COVID and he's gonna cough in my face. Well, I'll be breathing kind of heavy and soon he'll be wow, on the ventilator. Wow, I'm so off tone that even the auto, the auto tone is not even close. And it won't be long before he's dead. Yeah. Isn't auto tune supposed to put your ass on? <laughs> I love that shot. Wow. Was I really that far off? I think it's a good remix. We started really strong and that was very impressive. Yeah. Oh, it was? It <laughs> didn't look impressive. Our verses were pretty okay. good. That nice poke <laughs> ad. We kind of lost steam there. Yeah. So it's actually related to the news now, right? Oh, yeah, we have a news story about that. Um, right. Which is out of order, but here it is. So we goofed on uh, Smash Mouth, uh, Shrek Mouth. Because they were at the Sturgis Biker Gang. Not a biker gang. <laughs> a biker gang. Just a biking <laughs> convention. I assume everyone who's on a bike is a dangerous criminal. Uh, so they played at the show. They screamed, fuck COVID and all that. Well, you got to love it. Sturgis show connected to over 100 COVID-19 <laughs> cases. <laughs> and now Sturgis is a COVID hotspot. Oh, my God. Hey, now you've got covid I saw someone say, um, I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> right, yeah, right. That's a real lyric, man. <laughs> I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> well, I was coughing in the crowd at Sturgis. By the way, imagine risking your life to see Smash Mouth. Like, holy <laughs> damn. It's Smash Mouth, dude. The Shrek guys. <laughs> dude, there's all kinds of funny comments. Somebody once told me COVID was gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, she was looking kind of dumb with her several symptoms. A cough, fatigue, and burning forehead. Oh, he's got the whole thing. Well, her breath stops coming and the coughs keep coming. <laughs> Fed her no rules and I ignore what the states... Well, Fed has no rules, so I ignore the states... While humming. Wait, you're reading tweets? <clears throat> oh, let's show what Did tweets. it make sense not to live for fun? My mask is half off because my brain is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> COVID for you, COVID for me. It's inevitable, so let's go to the beach. We'll never know because we won't test. We'll never ventilate because we won't rest. Yeah. It started started strong. You think mine was... My, dude, mine sucked. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, somebody donated 250 uh, czar. I don't know what oh, czars czar? are. What's a czar? Did you just give me czars? Czar currency. Let's see. A czar <laughs> is a South African rand. So a South African dollar, essentially. Oh, wow. So how? what does that convert uh, and to? They, 
I don't know. I didn't do the conversion. But well, why? Well, Tell me how much. The important part is the message. <laughs> I'm trying to get well, the message. Ma- I want to know how much it is. Maybe it's just a dollar fifty. <laughs> I mean, who cares? Well, right, okay, star killer cape through. It's fifteen dollars. Okay, okay it's 15 thank guys. you. Very generous. Um, but but more importantly, he said Dan should mayo up that dome if Ethan reaches his weight loss goal. Dan, uh, do it for oh. Ethan. And uh, I could agree to that. So I, what I is my goal? With that. I would mayo my dome. Whoa! Everyone mails would... their dome? Yeah. Whoa. yeah. But I gotta share a bed with you. That's not that great. You're gonna stink like mayo, and I gotta <laughs> sleep next to you. We got it out of Zach's hair eventually. Yeah. Okay. So I, I what's mean, the I'm goal? The one that's gonna hate it. What's the goal? What is your goal? Well, there's that's like too crazy. Where are you at right now? <laughs> Dude, like two twenty. So let's get down. I mean, two hundred. Get two, below, if you can I get below 200, 200. I mean, like, my real re- big goal is, like, 170. That's what I used to be, like, back in Israel. Sure. Well, 175. You say 190. No, one, no, 200. Okay. 200 for the male. How about below right. 200? Let's make it that. No, 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 Dan. 199. Don't move the bar. No, you I, said 200. All right, let's Under do 200. 200. <clears throat> Under 200. Another $50 Sorry. donation from the what comedy crew. It? Dan, get that mayo. Oh. There's a lot of yeah. movement for this. So, uh, Rob- it's 200. Robin is asking me if it's a problem when Ethan coughs in public. It doesn't happen that much, actually, but we always wear a mask, so. I hate it. I, I mean, oh. I, I, I listened back, and it's, like, unwatchable, these it's fucking episodes. It's kind of episodes. like, it really got worse lately. I don't know. It's a new thing that we need to figure out why it's happening. Like, I, do I just need to get up and walk out of the room when I cough? Because I, I don't want this to be unwatchable for everybody who's like, dude, I can't. I don't want to listen to some dude cough for three hours. Um, I'm just going to I'm it. just gonna get up and walk out. <laughs> what were we talking about? Um, so what is your goal? We were talking 200. About. 200. Okay. Two o o, Dan. Okay, you get under or no? Fine, at two hundred. <laughs> We're effectively saying the same thing. I'm saying one ninety nine. You're yeah, but that's a big precipice. Don't that's fucking one take, extra pound. Don't take anything away from me. <laughs> you could totally do two. Uh, what is it? Twenty one pounds. You could totally do that. All right, Zach. You want to lose it for me? <laughs> <laughs> I would if I could. <laughs> Actually, Zach did, it. Young Zach did it. So. For them. No, I want to do 200. Okay. <laughs> I'll keep, we'll, set, we'll have to set up another milestone. I, okay. at, once I get to 200, okay. we'll set up another milestone. If you can get no to 200, way. Ela and I will mail yeah. our donuts. Okay, how about this, Dan? Yeah. 200, and then if I get below, to, if I get to 180, you have to cover, you have to put on a Speedo and cover your whole body in mayo. No, I would never agree to that. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I would never agree to that. Hell no. Dude, don't you care about my health? If I die, you lose the job. No, Elo will keep taking care of me. It'll just become the... Elo's just, not taking we're care we're of dropping, your ass. We're dropping the three. It's just H. The H show. The H will be dead air show. <laughs> the H stands for dead air. I will see about that. I think we'll get... I mean, we're gonna, if my goal is to get Dan in a kiddie pool covered in mail. It's not going to happen. Dude, even okay. if I lose 50 fucking pounds? Maybe, um... Wow. I agree. We. Why are you already trying well, to raise the bar? Let's just focus on one goal at yeah. a time. Yeah. Okay. Wait, if Dan, if he if he loses fifty pounds, you wouldn't get in a pool of mayonnaise? Yeah. You do? How about you do it? It's of course, Zach. Fine. Would. I would I absolutely would do that. All right, Zach is going to get in a speedo and I'll, get into a kiddie pool. You of really don't think I, Zach would do that? For, I do think he'll do it. I, I will do it too. But no, I but feel it has like to be it's Dan. If I do it, yeah, I don't want nobody wants yeah. to. Dan, I mean, I you and I get get some men's thongs and get in that pool of mayonnaise. Fucking shave the ass cheeks, <laughs> all that shit, man. Oh um, a lot of people are saying the cough is part of your brand, so don't worry. No, but like I'm telling you, like the last episode <laughs> we did, it was the um, I talked about it. You know, we just filmed a podcast with oh, Cody oh, Cole. Sorry to cut you, but um, Joshua is saying, if, bro, if you lose weight, you won't get all the the gird. Yeah, it could help. Because oh. the fat puts a lot of pressure on my stomach. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that makes you sense. You snore at night, Ethan? No, I don't snore. I, no, I, I breathe not. perfectly fine. Yeah. Very silent sleeper. Yeah. Um, Dan set me up a kill button so that when I cough, I push the kill button. But Ela didn't have one. So what was happening is like I was coughing way more than I usually would because I would hit the kill button. I'd be like, Ugh. 
<laughs> but then Elo's mic was picking it up like totally because fine. Because we sit so close, we didn't realize like it will just pick yeah. up on mine. But I just saw a lot of comments of people like, this is unwatchable. This is unwatchable. The dude's just coughing. And I'm like, you're yeah, right. I bummer. listened to it and I was like, this is horrible. So you guys are generous, but like you guys are also the more dedicated viewers, let's be honest. So thank you guys for the forgiveness. But at the end of the day, you know, Gerd Gang. Oh, I should introduce um, AB, don't you think? Yeah, just real quick, I'm seeing, I guess, uh, I think the stream dropped out what for a second or something. For? Well, people Everyone's... are saying F because I think the stream started lagging or something. Oh. But I think it's back. Yeah, people are saying they're back. It I mean, looks I like see it on Ela's computer. Yeah, yeah, it's live on my computer, so mm. I don't know. Everybody's typing F. Is that uh, something? Well, that's... F... Yeah. I mean, okay, they're saying they're we're saying good now. Rest in peace. But the the YouTube the way that they encode it is genius because it just okay. We're good. I think we're good. Yeah, people are saying it's back. <clears throat> okay, so uh, A B is with us here. Let me pull up Zoom so I can talk to him. New, uh, we got a new uh, crew member with us. Oh God, Zoom is so annoying with this like little floaty shit. I can't get it. Out. Oh, where did hey, let me just click go? this. All right, AB, just uh, say hi. Hello. So AB is joining us. Um, we're we're stepping up our episodeage, and we are. Yeah, I can't. I don't know. It's right here, but I can't drag it. Oh, there oh, it goes. There it is. Thank you. Let's see. We're stepping up our episodage. To be honest with you guys, we're doing three a week now, but four a week is right around the corner. And um, that's what's up, dude. Four per week. So, Starkiller here, as some of you may know him, but AB. We've talked about him before. Yeah, he's a simp. Starkiller. Are you H3 simp? <laughs> I, I am. I'm obviously number one simp. <laughs> Are you, though? Because I know you're fans of other YouTubers. Like, just be totally honest. Which one, Who's your favorite YouTuber? And don't, you don't have to lie and say it's me. Uh, no, it's, it's between you and Casey Neistat, I think. Oh. It was kind of even, but now I'm leaning towards you guys. Well, I gave you a job. It better be. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm playing. What do you love? So, what do you love about Casey? Um, just, I don't know, his, uh, his content, I feel like he's actually a revolutionary of a genre. Well, like, that's yeah, true. Yeah, definitely Yeah. Is. Yeah. He's a super talent. He's a freak of nature, dude. You see him shirtless? He's a freak of nature. Guy's yeah. fucking He doesn't still. sleep. He does, like, a million things in one day. He sleeps for three hours? Yeah. Oh, you do that. Don't tell me you do that because of Casey. No, no, no. <laughs> I've always been that way. My parents don't sleep, and I'm a lot worse than them. So really, runs in the family. Yeah. Are you sleep? You're but not sleepy all the time. No, I mean now that I'm getting a little older, I start to feel it a little bit more. But when I was younger, I could go a day or two without. Yeah, didn't bother me at all. Is it cause trouble in your relationship uh, because you are married uh, and um, you don't sleep? I mean, it's got to be odd not to be on the same cycle. No, thankfully, uh, Lena, she's a heavy sleeper, so I don't wake her up in the middle of the night. So it's, And I'm up whenever she wakes up. I'm a light sleeper, too, so if I hear anything, I'll wake up. That sounds, it's, all, it's like a blessing and a curse. Do you wish that you slept normally? Or are you yes. happy? You you do. Do. I, I definitely wish, wish yeah. Oh. Oh, dude. I hate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it just <laughs> get really lonely good. in the middle of the night? What do you hate about it? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, I mean, I'm definitely exhausted a little bit now. I'm, like I said, I'm feeling it more, but... Yeah, it does get lonely a little bit, and I feel bad making so much noise, and I can't do anything, oh. but... Wow. I am it productive, though. It sounds nice, because, like, the night hours for me are the, is the best time to work or do anything creative. Like, the dude doesn't sleep, but, Eva. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, trying, anyway. trying to find the good in it. He's miserable. Look at him. <laughs> People in the Discord are calling you sexy, A.B. Oh, thank you. <laughs> He's married, guys. AB Come on. is taken, so... Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well, AB, uh, he basically sent me some research when we were just casually talking, and I was really impressed. So I said, hey, you want to come... Uh, are you looking for a job? Because we needed another person, basically, for specifically that. So here he is. He just joined. And uh, we'll be seeing more of AB, the insomniac. Uh, also, thank you for having me. Credit to him; uh, he helped out uh, setting up all these lights for this yeah, set. Yeah, he did this So, set uh, if you're here. digging the uh, the color scheme we got here, uh, that was his contribution. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Dan. Cool. Glad to be part of the team. You guys are all very uh, 
it's very surreal, but you guys are all very sweet, and you guys help me feel very welcome, and I appreciate it. That'll Glad to be oh. here. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just gonna ask you, Andy, would you get in that pool of mayonnaise with a thong on? Would you do it? Uh, I'd do anything for Ethan. <laughs> so that's, yeah, I, that'll be interesting to test his limits as we, as we venture. I'll do anything Zach does. How about that? Yeah, because I, I know that Zach's a ride or die. Yeah. And it's easy to say that, A.B., but we'll see as, as the show progresses. We haven't asked Ian. What, what would Ian, Ian do with mayonnaise? Ian would do nothing. Did Ian's, <laughs> Ian, I mean, Ian, would you get in a pool with mayonnaise for 50 pounds of weight loss? Wait, why I would I do that? <laughs> Whoa. That's not the premise. I don't know. <laughs> For our pleasure? Yeah. Just to what watch. is the benefit of It's me? entertainment, dude. We're a show. We entertain See, people. Ian You're supposed to suffer, me. and we're supposed to have fun watching. I mean, I'm cool. You said I'm that's cool. a no. Yeah, it sounds like Maybe if point. I, like, if we all set our... If we all had weight loss goals and then e each other all had to jump in mayo. I would do it. I mean, I, I would do it, of course. <laughs> Show off my beautiful new body. All right, let's get rid of you guys. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you. I did not like it. No, oh. of course not. Um, so, oh, this, this is a flop that I definitely couldn't show in our normal episode. Um, this guy, yeah. this was wait, one wait, wait. of... Which one is this? This is the guy who says a anti-gay slur while live on a hot... Yeah, right. So the premise is that he's an announcer for the Reds, and he thinks his mic's off, but it's on, and he says something really horrific about gay people, and then during the same game, he gets fired. <laughs> And he gives up an apology during the same game. Wow. <laughs> and what's funny to me is he keeps announcing during his apology. <laughs> and then he just bounces. It's crazy, man. I never seen anything like this. One of the fag capitals of the world. He said it very hatefully, too. Red flag, the pregame show. Fag capital of the world. Oh, red, I red flag, high pop to left field. <laughs> what an asshole. Can you play it again? Yeah. <laughs> One of the fag capitals of the world. <laughs> red flag, the pregame Big show. Big red flag, up and popping in red field. <laughs> So here's game later in the, the game. Why did he do that? Reds in front of the Royals. I don't know. He was talking to somebody. He didn't off. know he was live. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pr it was before the game, and, and they didn't yeah. realize his, wow. his mic was hot. So he was just talking to a coworker or something. Yeah. Maybe just chance? don't even say that. Yeah. You know. Path of the fifth inning. Castellanos to lead things off. Jim Day's going to be taking us the rest of the way through this game. As Holland takes over on the mound. Um, I made a comment earlier tonight. That uh, I guess uh, went out over the air that I am deeply ashamed of. Um, if I have hurt anyone out there, I can't tell you how much I say from the bottom of my heart. I'm so very, very sorry. I pride myself and think of myself as a a man of faith. Don't as there's a drive in a deep always. left field yeah, by Castellanos, yeah, yeah, yeah. it will be. I a mean, listen, you don't want to miss the play. <laughs> They're like, dude, but they're probably like, they're like, dude, you got to wrap it up. They're like, you got to get out of there now. They just, they dropped him like so fast. I've never wow. seen anything like it. Oh, man. They couldn't even wait till the end of the game. I mean, look at this is the, uh, oh, the fifth. So like, yeah, it took half the game basically. Run. He still is announcing. And so that'll make it a 4 nothing ball game. 4 nothing game. I said, I am a man of faith. I said something that was deeply offensive. F uh, high fly ball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be putting on this headset again. I don't know if it's going to be for the Reds. I don't know if it's going to be for my bosses at Fox. I want to apologize for the people who signed my paycheck. Not for anymore. the Reds, for Fox Sports Ohio, for the people I work with, for anybody that I've offended here tonight. I can't begin to tell you how deeply sorry I am. That is not who I am, uh, and never has been. Well, so, it was just yeah. 30 minutes, minutes ago. ago. <laughs> I, can, I can kind of relate where it's like, 
I think I, I know what he's. I, I do feel kind of bad for him. Like his life just got totally fucking ruined from one. And it was a, by the way, a horrible thing to say. But sometimes you just have these moments of clarity at the worst time. Because sometimes you'll be at a party and you'll say something like that. Mm-hmm. But the guy's old. I mean, he knows better. This isn't a young man. Well, he's in broadcast. It's like you got to in front of your face. Good point. I mean, it's not something you would just say. No, not. Even if we weren't live. You know what I mean? You just don't really say that. No. But like, I maybe he's mean, though, and, like in his he mind. Just, he's like, this is only something I would say to my closest friends who know I'm not hateful in my heart. Maybe. But like, maybe upon self-reflection, he's like, it takes some time to be like, damn, I shouldn't be saying that at all. Yeah. And he got he. I don't. Maybe I'm giving it to. I mean, the dude's life just got ruined. Yeah. High fly ball. <laughs> <laughs> But can't either get over that he's still calling the game. It's so good. Either way, it's epic. And I'd like to think maybe I could have some people that uh, that could back that up. Everyone's like, "Nah, dude." I am very, very sorry. You and know I how hard beg- it is to get a job announcing baseball. That's like <laughs> one of the most competitive, least amount of people doing it. Like opportunities to do it, 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 it dude. Yeah. High fly ball. Trying to see if there's an update because I see that he was suspended. Uh, oh, interesting. But I don't see any update since a week ago, so I'm not sure if he's fully fired or suspended or what. Yeah. I think that's a see you later forever. I mean, that. it seems like it the probably people are is. saying they think he is a hateful person. Oh, they know him. Okay, so, writing, so so so. Again, <laughs> lots of bye dogs. <laughs> yeah. <it's>, yeah. <laughs> Uh, here's a list. Here's something special for you guys. Uh, this one's dedicated to Dan. To me? <laughs> to Dan? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you know why, Zach? Yeah. I get it. I want to talk about feet. Right. <laughs> now, <laughs> now is your time. Dude was just cruising and pulled over and look what he saw, man. Oh, you know what's crazy? What I gotta go back. Doing? Look at the girl's not. She's just browsing her phone. She. I thought she was oh recording God. maybe, but she's just on her phone. She's like on Twitter. <laughs> He's eating that shit like a subway sandwich, bro. Yeah. Who's supposed to be enjoying it, she or him? Him, dude. Look, you see the way he's devouring that thing. You think she's getting any pleasure in that? <laughs> she's like browsing Facebook. She's yeah, I, I think he probably job. even paid her. Girl, oh uh, what? Yeah, they're in a gas station. Oh my god. Yeah, he definitely paid her for that. I'm into it. That's probably a really good gig for a prostitute. Just like you want to suck my feet, cool. Wow. I'll browse Twitter. That, I never <laughs> even thought of that. <laughs> Bro, what you doing? <laughs> ah, that's one of the greatest, greatest, greatest. Oh, wow. I almost got a watch. I love how disengaged she is with it. Yeah. Oh my god, what are you doing? Bro, what you doing? Oh, wait, he's in like a service vehicle. Bro, what you... Look, there's lights on top. He's Whoa. like a government employee. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> that guy's on, du- that guy's on duty right now. <laughs> Bro, what you doing? Look, he's in a total service vehicle. Whoa. Here, you see? Awesome. Yeah. Hey, you know what? He's not hurting anyone. He's just sucking toe. Yeah, yeah. it's not kink shame here. I mean, you, you can know? even suck toe in public. It's not necessarily... I don't even think it's illegal. <laughs> I'm into it. Back then, I kind of, I'll be honest, I kind of want a Subway sandwich now. Gross. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That, that is insane. You made me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty close to puking and I never even puke. So the fact that that made, me, made you hungry, there's something wrong. I want with a Subway you. sandwich. <laughs> Spicy Italian with mayonnaise. You need a oh trainer. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that sound good right now? No. Okay. Sounds fantastic right now. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm just thinking about toes? No, I I was just, I saw he was, when I said Subway sandwich, I was like, that's what I want. (laughs) Know your way around some meat. Y'all, um, 
Is there any donos to read or members to uh, thank? There's a hundred dollar one from Jacqueline. Cody podcast uh, leaves it all and goes to the pool. Oh, because she wasn't there. Okay, <laughs> right. And then a fifty dollar one. Wait, what did she say? She what said is that? Uh, Cody podcast. Podcast. Ela leaves and it all goes to the pool. What does that mean? It all goes to the pool. I think it's an expression like it, it goes to shit. Oh, well, come on. It wasn't that bad, was it? No, it wasn't bad at all. Oh, these chairs are squeaky, Dan. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's... Wait, I just realized we've been squeaking the whole time. Oh Can God. you hear it? Uh, I don't know. Audience, have you been hearing the squeaks? Listen to this shit. I gotta well, change chairs. We gotta throw these out, Gila. Can you hear this? <laughs> yeah, well, now, now I'm concentrating on it. Wait, Gila, we have to throw these chairs up so that doesn't happen. <laughs> okay. In Are you meantime, getting the chairs? Okay, Ethan went to eat. He's eating. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what I'm talking about? That, that, there's a problem here. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to read a few more donations we got. Uh, they don't hear the squeaks, Ethan. Yeah, nobody's saying they heard it at all. Okay. But uh, we got a $25 donation from Miguel. Hey, big fan of you guys. I don't care what other people think about you. I'll always support you, too. That is very sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. $50. Where did all the Belle Delphine stuff end up? Uh, also, can we see that simp sign lit up somewhere? It's actually sitting right it's by All this stuff is right here. Oh, you know what I found out? That simp sign was in her famous music video. Oh. It was in the background of it also. Oh. Oh. It was actually a historical prop she sent us. Cool. <laughs> uh, $50 from Antonio. I use a technique to wipe my butt that you've almost certainly never heard of before. What? I think Ooh. it's a game changer. I'd be oh. happy to explain it to you all if you're interested. Get him on. Get him yeah. on Discord now. Garbage I mean, what could it Discord, be that we haven't And I'm heard over of? 18. Get him on now! <laughs> Jesus. Uh, steep, uh, steep Garbage is steep the name. Steep Garbage is yeah, the name? Yeah, if you want to okay. see if you can find it. Bring him, him in. Get him on. All right, bring him in now. Hold on. Okay. Get so, him on. Uh, while he's queuing that up. Uh, By the way. $70 one. Love you guys. Dan, get that mayo. Okay. Get that mail, Dan. It's going to happen. It's up to me now, though. True, true, $50. True. Hey, guys, we're a huge fan of yours. We are a video game music cover band from, around, from Rhode Island. Our new Fall Guys music video is over on our YouTube. It has some slick Teddy Fresh in it, and that's Lame Genie. Mm -hmm. So uh, check it out, everybody. Thank you, Lame Genie. Right, Appreciate the, uh, 50, the support, brother. Buckaroonies. Uh, huge shout out to Ian, Zach, and Dan for keeping H3 afloat. Mm -hmm. Lost giving us a lot of credit. I don't know. Keeping <laughs> well, you guys do a lot. I mean, you know, especially we're ramping up the episodes, and I mean, we've... I'm not gonna lie, it's been a busy week. It's been yeah. a very yeah. busy week. Uh, and I just Ethan... moved. Uh, oh. Yeah. oh, I just moved Hello? that guy into the chat. Can you hear me? Steep garbage. Hello. We can hear you. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Who do we have? How's here? it going? Uh, my name's Antonio. Okay, Anto and uh... so Antonio. Yes. Antonio says he's got a unique wiping technique that we've probably yes. never heard of. So all of my friends think I'm crazy for this, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel like uh, this is a good platform to maybe see if there's anybody else in the world uh, that does the same. Okay. So, okay, so my I know you guys are kind of a, a connoisseur of ass hygiene, mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. um, is it coming so, loud? I see someone said. Yeah, in the I chat. Just down. I just down okay, down. sorry. Yeah, that's no worries. Go ahead. Um, okay, so the way I see it, there's like two categories. There's like surface hygiene and there's inner hygiene, right? There's there's the you don't you want you want clean on the surface, but you also want clean where the sun don't shine. Okay. So, so not digging in there. I mean, I follow, but what's the technique? <laughs> Okay, so the technique, I'm getting to it, I'm getting to it. First of all, setting the stage, I stand up, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a standing up kind of guy, and okay. I'm from the back, so already I'm, I'm in pretty stark contrast to you, Ethan. But that's, okay, um, yeah, but that seems like a relatively normal way to walk. Okay, right, okay, here we go. So what you gotta do is, after you're done with the surface cleanliness, you, you bloop about a half an inch, maybe a little more, of your finger into the, into the pit of despair, <laughs> and you, as, so you're standing up straight, and then once it's in, you bend at the waist downward, and it induces a torque. 
You don't do that. What? I 100% do that. And let me tell you why. Because if what are you going to do? Just like scoop it? It doesn't work. The twisting motion is what really gets you. No My way. You don't do that. You're job. bullshitting us. I 100%. I swear. I swear. On why are you, con why are why you, are you concerned? Why are you concerned? in there? Why are you concerned with cleaning the inside of your colon? To what benefit is that? It's not my colon. I'm not like sticking my whole. Well, it's fist inside in. your asshole. But, I mean, like, why do you need what? to in clean inside your asshole? Because I don't want to get itchy ass. Dude, that's the, dude. You get you get itchy ass by fingering your asshole dry with toilet paper. Oh, oh, look at me. I'm Ethan. I've got a fancy bidet. I don't have these. Dude, uh, I didn't always have a bidet. <laughs> the bidet is relatively right. new. And I'm trying to I'm trying to educate you on this new technique. Maybe it'll help the people. Because first you you stand up straight and then you bend at the waist downward and then that that maybe twists it counterclockwise and then you start bent and you stand up straight and it twists it both directions. Are you right? using Are you, you using you, toilet paper or baby wipes? <laughs> How can toilet paper even? But wait, I'll tell you what's wrong with this. Toilet paper on the finger? Yeah, this doesn't add up, dude. I'm sorry. This story doesn't make sense. How could toilet paper endure that much friction? Well, you gotta, you gotta layer. You gotta give a couple layers. You're not gonna go like. Dude, that's a lot. You keep you going into your asshole with several layers. This doesn't make sense, bro. Let me ask you. If you're if you're washing a car, are you gonna like just go up and down? No, you're gonna do like a circular motion. It's that twisting that really gets it clean. Dude, dude okay, let me ask you this. When you wash your car, let me ask you this. When you wash your car, do you clean all way up the tailpipe? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Well, no. Well, I don't have to deal with feeling all the way up the tailpipe of my car. I don't know if I believe you, dude, but I... I, I... I promise you. And I wanna, I wanna know if there's anybody else out there that does this. I, or, I mean, dude, the chat I, is all I saying you're lying. So. I mean, dude, when I think let, I'll just go out on a limb and say if you're telling the truth, you might be the only one, dude. <laughs> Well, how do you? Makes me feel special. How long have I, you been wiping that way? I I maybe started doing it a few years ago, um, yeah. and it, it you know it solved it solved all of my wiping problems. It so, does. So does what? Does your finger ever smell? No, <laughs> no. I wash my hands. Thank you very much, Eva. Let me ask you: What was the necessity for going in there and scooping and turning and twisting and all that? <laughs> and twerking. Well, because if if you if you don't get the dookie from the inside, it's still in there, bro. You know that's where it belongs. Right. That's your asshole. I mean, that's, uh, that's not a problem. <laughs> I'm surprised, but but if it works for we're you, only man. We're going in like a half an inch. We're but only going let me like tell you, I'm not half I'm not an inch. I mean, that's feet. enough. People are saying, I'm, get him off. Wow. I will say, wow. well, I will say this before we uh, before we drop you. Okay. <laughs> thank you for the call. I think it's, I'm always interested in hearing all the different techniques. So I do thank you for calling in and sharing that. And I and I am excited to hearing other techniques if they're out there. But don't lie to me. <laughs> I, I swear, I would never lie to you. Either. All right, thank you. I believe you. All right, thank you for calling. Right, thank Thanks, you. Steve. <laughs> that guy's such a fucking liar. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, I I mean he sounded serious, it but it did. just seems a little. I don't know. The thing is when you. If you like going in with one is enough because I, when you I there was a bit of a time in my life where you kind of scoop in there a little bit You really don't need to do that, but like to plot to Super layer it and scoop that seems That doesn't seem right What do the, people think they think he's lying the the chat the, overwhelmingly seem to say that he's lying But there's I mean a few I, I, I see I believe him. He's not lying. So, I give him I don't know. Yeah, I, some people are saying twist gang. They're part of twist gang twist gang gird gang <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think I fun. believe him you believe it Zach. Yeah, Zach probably heard, done it You yeah, are I've the most crazy. global <laughs> member of the cast <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> so what do we got here? I really have to pee. Can you just take over, Ela? I have to pee too, but I'm holding it. Well, I can't hold it. <laughs> just piss yourself. It's all good. Uh, there's a bathroom right here, Ela. Okay. Uh, entertain. What am I gonna do? Just read donations. Okay, I don't know. Donation. Talk to the chat. Donations. What do we got here? Um, so unprofessional. I named this method the Tony Twist. That's pretty good. That's that guy's, pretty name was, good. guy's name was Antonio, so <laughs> pretty good. Uh, 
If you think that's disgusting, you should listen to what people in rural India do. I, I don't know if I don't know if we can talk about that. Uh, <laughs> let's see what else we got here. Um, there were some Teddy Fresh questions, like one asked about this shirt. Mm, it right. will come out later, I think next month maybe. Oh, it's soon. It's pretty soon. Yeah. It's not a because sometimes you wear stuff that's like, oh yeah, this will be out in a year. So yeah. Um, have Ethan search for 2018 Mr. Olympia on YouTube and give his reaction to professional bodybuilders on stage. It would be hilarious to see his reaction to these guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming that's like the crazy uh, Mr. Olympia. Oh yeah, right. The, oh, yeah, that's like, like the what uh, that's what Arnold was, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, it's wild. Let's see. The super chats. I fucking hate this. It's like con anytime a new one comes in, it bumps it around. So I'm like trying to click, and it, it makes it real difficult. All right, Jacqueline. To be clear, my poo comment was about the amount of chat debating the front and back wiper. It was a pun. Nothing but love for you guys. Oh well, I think the problem was was that you had a typo. You said pool, not poo. Oh oh, that comment. Yeah. Um, oh no, you didn't. You said poo. All right, forgive me, Jacqueline. You with, it, with Ethan wanting to do more episodes, um, I'm just going to have to not be in all of them because I do have to attend Teddy Fresh. So Yeah, you guys don't realize how that much happen. Hila's time is occupied by that. So that's just going just gonna to be a new reality. Um, but I think that's kind of nice, too, to have a variety. Oh, we're going to have a variety. <laughs> so we've got Cartnark. We've got uh, Pocket Pussy Review. Oh, this is someone from Discord that uses a Pocket Pussy? No. Hey, guys. Welcome to Review Time. No, no, no. I watched it. It, it wasn't as good as, as I was hoping. Because mm -hmm. I thought it was real, but the guy's joking. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Someone asked if we would like them to get on and tell us about their heart tran transplant story. That sounds pretty interesting. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'd love to hear about a heart transplant. That sounds incredibly, uh, sounds incredible. Uh, TF scrubs for the nurses. That's interesting. It's a, uh, hmm. Can you wear whatever you want? Like, hmm. like, can it be color blocked or can there be logo logo on it? I don't know what's the. Uh, that's a good question. So, you should we do cart narcs? I feel like this is safe for like a normal app you know what i mean like this is good stuff the hmm. cart narc hmm. all praise the cart narc could be somebody just asked uh if the episodes without Ela can dan sit next to ethan well for one i'm i'm running the, the yeah, switch yeah dan is actually doing stuff i'm doing stuff and and two uh even though i'm here with them uh we're staying distanced and everything because i'm trying not to give them covid so uh probably uh can't really sit over there so um this was a clip we've been wanting to watch forever, and we've just always not included it because we're like, well, this is like a dude dying. I mean, it's not graphic or grim or, or you don't see anything, but it, and it's weird too because it's also like hilarious. So you're very conflicted because it's like a dude dies, but it's also like uh, somehow that's, funny. That's the ones that we were like, we can't watch. Yeah. Do we know for sure this person died? I remember reading that, and maybe one of you guys can fact check that. Well, we don't we know for sure. I don't think we do. No, I think I think I read he died. <laughs> Should we? I know but this is the after people, dark, but that I still mean, seems. Just a comment, uh, well, like, it doesn't. It doesn't show. I mean, you don't see him. Yeah. Any, there's not graphic in any way. It's just. I think I read an article that he died. I yeah no uh, yeah he died. He died. He died. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. But I know. But I'm saying it's weird because wait till you see the clip. Um, it's a hell of a clip, and that's what After Dark's all about. Yeah. You know? I mean, you tell me if this is funny or not. It, it's very bizarre, so let's go ahead and watch. I mean, look at the title. It's called Mobility Scooter Elevator Fail. Epic. <laughs> well, I guess it's funnier when you realize he didn't die, but when you watch it, you're like, oh, he died for sure. But here, you, you just go ahead and watch and yeah. try not to laugh challenge. Mm -hmm. mm, you did a Papa John laugh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Elevator. <laughs> uh, going down. But this homie. 
uh, he is not cool with missing the ride. And he'll be goddamned if that elevator takes off without him. And it's hard to even explain... What he was thinking? Yeah. But he just goes, all right, see you later. <laughs> you see, it is funny. I mean, it's just so stupid. Like, It reminds me of that scene from uh, Willy Wonka where the sh- they have that good egg, bad egg for Veruca Salt. The way it happens. It's like, wah, 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 and then the door closes on him like nothing happened. But the, he, he, see, he, he had a chance to back out because he rams it once where he doesn't go in. But you should be like, fuck, that's terrifying. But he's like, nah, dude, today's a good day to die. Bye. See you later. Oh, my God. Wait, back it up. Show it one more time. Yeah. I mean, is it funny or tragic? I guess it's both. Uh, I, mean, I couldn't help but laugh. but It's a mixed reaction here. Is he suicidal? I mean, is he trying to die? I mean, there's really no way. At that point, I would be terrified. But it's almost like he holds the gas on, too, because watch, he's like, he goes, and then he's like, see ya, boop. (laughs) Jesus. You know. Hell of a ride, huh? Wow. It's like Harold and Maude. So, actually, people are saying we've shown this already. That's what I thought. I thought we showed it. I said, you guys, haven't we shown this? And they all said, no, we cut it out. I swear, I knew we showed this. Weird. I thought we did cut it out. I thought, yeah, didn't we cut it? I mean, people are saying we showed. Clearly this, not. Wow, some show this is. <laughs> uh, this guy throws trash man at sleeping dude. Hmm. Recommended from uh, Discord by Nico Swagza. What? What? What are they doing? <laughs> Some homie just fell asleep on the john. Why would you even look over? I guess it's probably because they were wanting to take a shit or something. And then, oh, my God. Imagine you're at work and you're like, I got a dump. Somebody's in there. You come back in 20 minutes. It's still... You look under the stall. There's feet. But they haven't seemed to move. You just see some dudes on the john. <laughs> what are I've been that tired. I've Honestly, watched this a hundred times. <laughs> I've been that tired, man. I, I could see myself doing that in a previous life. <laughs> oh, this sounds brutal. I think I've seen... This one's actually almost just violent and not funny or interesting. I've seen this one. It's horrific. You can tell what's about to happen. A oh, forklift. Yeah. Right here. And girl on bike. Writing <laughs> right into it. It's not, it's horrific. Oh. I'm pretty sure she got like GG'd as well. Wait, but the dude falling down the elevator shaft is not horrific? Well, you don't, you're not seeing. I feel like the fact that. Also, <laughs> I don't I, see the impact. Also, I feel like this is yeah. not her fault. That dude literally just, uh, you know, peaced out on this yeah, world. Yeah. yeah fair enough. Like, fair uh, enough. Fair enough. More. Intention behind that. One. I don't think I'm gonna watch it, you guys. Yeah, it's not really funny. It's just more. I'm like, out. Oh. I'm out. We're skipping. Oh, here's an interesting trend. D- okay, so TikTok continues to mi- d- uh, to not make sense to me in any way. <laughs> but there's this new trend on TikTok where people cosplay as Holocaust victims as a way to bring awareness, I guess. But they dressing up as Holocaust victims, like, what? like in a glamorous way. Uh, it's fucking crazy and weird, bro. Yeah, here, check it out. She's pretty. Her eyes. Let's keep her. I want her body. What's your number? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this one I don't get. Why this one's here? This one for sure. So it says, name Julia, age 19, cause of death. This one looks like... I can't read it. Cause of death? I was put in Auschwitz camp at 19, and my family, we were forced to work. It was painful, exhausting. 
We were also tortured. This TikTok really. Bruh. <laughs> We were told it was because of our religion. Oh no, she did a fake Yuda star. Go to the shower. My mom and I were holding hands. I felt as though I know I... Oh, this one's awesome. How did you die? Why do you look like that? I died in a gas chamber in Auschwitz. Wait, I am so, so sorry. Is there like music usually? What's up? Why is there I, no I muted it. Oh. I'm afraid we'll get blocked by one of these cocksuckers. I'll give you a taste. It's just, it's, they're lip syncing anyway. Yeah, but it's kind of hard to get the full. You want me to do it? I'll play the sound. I don't give a fuck. I was in home making a stew. And the Nazis came and they broke down my door. Well, I mean, what are we doing here? They started kicking me and beating me out of my home. They shoved us on a train with a bunch of other people from my town. Is this like, well, in, I guess it's well intentioned, but bizarre. Yeah, I mean, definitely well intentioned, but jeez. <laughs> Auschwitz, right? Rice gone. That's, that's cool. come on, dude. Oh, rice. rice, come on. How is this a, like. <laughs> rice, that's fucked up, bro. That's one trend I would have never thought would happen. Yo, bro, you want to do the died in Auschwitz TikTok challenge? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's so many of them. You're in heaven. We're happy to have you here. Does I like makeup how really do anything. Yeah, she's got soot all over her face. I mean, she died. Or by the way, you show up in heaven like with soot on your face. What kind of bullshit is that? You got to take a shower. <laughs> like you're supposed to show up immaculately. Yes, dear, but don't worry. You'll like it here. How did you die? I di Why is she so stoked? <laughs> I died in the Holocaust. Oh, I'm so sorry. Would you mind telling oh, me about it? I'm so sorry. Not at all. I was uh, I was a young girl with a Jewish family. People are saying the education system really failed us. I know. We're, <laughs> I, it's a shame we're turning to TikTok for our... If this shows up on your TikTok feed, that's your fault. <laughs> yeah, what do, you wa what do you watch to get this recommended? We were told to wait in a line for bread. Getting this Don't Judge Me Challenge vibes. Totally. Welcome to heaven, I guess that's the name. It looks like she got a herpy though. I don't think that's part of the challenge. Can you tell me your story? Yeah, I died in the Holocaust. So I died in the Holocaust. I love that. Yeah, so I died in the Holocaust. <laughs> that's what it says. You're in heaven, don't worry. Oh, oh, what, what, oh, 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 what is a uh, uh, Little boy. It's a girl. I'm fine. Is there a home? Yeah, Zach. Zach. You can't let me down with the TikTok as our home sound, but Zach, 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 Zach. I can hear you because the video was like dampening everything through Zoom. Oh. You couldn't hear you over the sound. Zach, code. Zach, Zach, <laughs> Zach, what, Zach. What, what, we said. Oh, the... TikTok is our home. <laughs> TikTok is my home. Exactly. <laughs> Proud member of the TikTok. TikTok is our home. I died of starvation and exhaustion. TikTok I... is not going anywhere. Right. Oh my god, dude, you really couldn't even like try to look. He's prisoner 347. Guard, you will be leaving in five. No, why does it feel so weird? I just can't even understand. Well, because, well, a dude like this Dev doesn't care about the fucking. Holocaust. And look at his hair, and he's wearing like a Nike, like, <laughs> button-up shirt. <laughs> Bro, you really wearing a Nike? Let's check up here. That's it? What is going on? TikTok is just weird. Oh! <gasps> what? She, like... She went back in time. TikTok is my home. How is the song related? What in God's name is this? <laughs> she got she put paper on her cuts. I guess at least they're trying to make the Holocaust 
I give props. Part of like a cool trend. I give props to everyone but this guy. Making the Holocaust That's cool something again. that's never happened. <laughs> yeah, I agree. At least they're saying that it happened. <laughs> yeah. There's enough people out yeah. there to say it didn't even happen. At least, at least they're not saying it didn't happen. That's yeah. already big ups. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Their heart's <laughs> in the right place, but it's just a bizarre trend. I was just surprised by it. It's just for me. It's like super funny in Israel. It's like. I don't know. You would never think to see something like that, but and anywhere, I'm TV? shocked by it. <laughs> I mean, I think in in Germany, they, this shit's like illegal to even like bring it up. <laughs> Hi, I was supposed to show him how to ride a bike, dude. You gotta People if you can. Tired of this song. <laughs> why? Why is it with this song? What did the song, song do to me? I guess it's sad, and then everyone's it's like, I'm in, I'm in heaven, and I died in Auschwitz. <laughs> Bro, if you're gonna do this whole Auschwitz thing, though, you gotta try a little harder than this. <laughs> oh yeah, what is this guy even doing? I mean, this this shit's stupid. All right. We had some other quit. music. <laughs> I told him it was a game of hide and seek. I can't handle this shit, dude. If you were in Auschwitz, why is this song the Auschwitz? Song? I can't do it. <laughs> TikTok is my home. Yeah. It'd be a shame if anything happened to TikTok, wouldn't it? Should TikTok I TikTok is not pee? going anywhere. Sure, go pee. Okay. Uh, Vin so Diesel. This is Vin Diesel. Uh, his face is in the toilet, and he goes. Women is turning the beautiful world. Gross. Fine. How am I supposed to do this interview? Look at this woman. <laughs> you want to read some comments off? Thank you to all the members. I just want to say, the members make this possible in a time when our podcast is under attack by nefarious forces. <laughs> coronavirus our sponsors have never been this minimal and we but also we've never been so motivated to deliver more content of a higher quality um and so the membership really is a huge uh is a is a huge beautiful thing for us and we're very 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 grateful for everyone that's become a member really makes a difference and allows us to just continue to make this content the way that we want for you guys. And trust me when I say four episodes a week soon. Can't and then wait. and the next one is gonna be off the chain. The I next love it. the big bean. We're gonna add an episode on what is it, Tuesday? So we'll be posting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Wait. Yeah. No. No? Not Wednesday. No, we'll be posting Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Sorry. Yeah. Right. Something like that. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Uh, there was a, a donation that I wanted to read off. Uh, this wasn't it. Uh, 200. Uh, I'm sorry, Ayush. I, I do not know what that symbol is. It looks like yen or something. Or I can't really see it's it. It's not yen, though. I, I don't know what that is. But anyways, uh, you can get under 200 by so-called dieting and exercising. But how are you planning to keep it off forever? Well, one step at a time. <laughs> well, no, he, that's a good point. I mean, most people, most people that yeah. lose weight, ninety percent of them gain it back within like two years. Mm. I mean, it happens to you it's a lot. You try something and it works, but then you don't stick with it. So no, it's it's really. I mean, question. that's a good. Yeah, it, it's tough. Oh, <laughs> AB said that was two dollars, whatever it was. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, well, but thank you anyway. Sure, thank it's you, awesome anyways. that it looks like it's so much. <laughs> it's a rupee, I believe, Indian rupee. Oh, Indian yeah, rupee. Oh, shout okay. out to the uh, shout out, man. So, and then a fifty dollar one, please get uh, Drew Gooden on the show and apologize for calling him Drew Goodman on the Logic episode. <laughs> oh, his name's not Goodman. What's his last name? Gooden. Oh, well, we have we have. Uh, I I I am trying to get him on. Um, I've DM'd him, and uh, we're hopefully we'll be able to set up a date. I mean, I don't, I don't, I shouldn't even say that because I don't want people to like, the guy has the right to not want to come on. He didn't say he doesn't want to come on. I'm just, what I'm saying is oh that it's unprofessional. Dig in the hole. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait, people were asking if I washed my hands. Yes, I did. Why do you think I wouldn't? Uh, they're pretty dry, dude. What? Mm. I washed my hands. I'm just kidding. It was good. <laughs> Crazy. So, um, we have a lot, uh, this is going to be exciting because we have a um, OnlyFans member who's going to call and add to this story, but Bella Thorne, the ex-Disney actress, actor. Did you notice that all of a sudden um, actresses are now actors? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I just, all of a sudden, because I feel like it used to be actress. Yeah. And now it's just actor. When did that happen? I don't know when it happened, but it did happen. But 
Um, I, it makes sense. Why do you need another word to describe a female? Is there? It's pretty weird because in English you don't really have male female. Right. Like, you know, like in Hebrew, everything is male female. In but, but 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 in, in everything, yeah, it's like firefighter, police officer. It's yeah. not like police officeress. Yeah. So oh. actor, I like. Let's get that actress bullshit out of here. <laughs> you know. So Bella Thorne, actor who is always, uh, she's one of these Disney characters who's like, I mean, she posts a lot of risque stuff and. And uh, people have been, I guess, probably asking for OnlyFans for a while. And so she made it. And she made a million dollars in 24 hours. Really? Broke the record by far. A million dollars. Oh, my God. And then apparently she made over $2 million in the first few days alone. Whoa. Jesus. So her tier levels were, it was $20 just to get in the door. Wow. So she had a couple of tears. So Zach, who went in here? We we actually exactly. was it Zach? Yeah, it was me. So tell me, we you, we dropped the twenty dollars. What did you find inside? Well, I had the lotion ready, and I was very disappointed. Really, you couldn't even beat <laughs> off to it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. There, it was just very risque photos, and um, there was no nudity. I mean, was it know, worth the twenty bucks? I mean, no, no. Did no you way. cancel it? Uh, yeah, I did. Zach, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you better cancel that. Yeah, very, very disappointed. I'm calling the credit card company. I'd be like, my son did this. <laughs> I'd like to reverse the charges. Yeah, that wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> yeah, no. In fact, I think they're getting... So, there's other tiers, though. There's another one that was $200. That she reportedly told people in a DM or something. Here, let's see. I saw this on Twitter today. Do we have a picture of this? She said full-on straight-up nudity for the members who pay two hundred dollars. Jesus. There's a. Where's this image? Did you guys find this? The image of her. <laughs> yeah, there's a message of her saying. Oh, the message. Because I think it's it's important to show the. Yeah, when when you guys can find that and throw that in Discord, but. So, the problem is, is that she's not delivering the nudes. And a lot of people are charging back OnlyFans. <laughs> and it's causing a lot of problems for the platform. And it's affecting other users of OnlyFans. For example, they recently changed a lot, some of the terms of service as a result of her going on there. I'm trying to find the details here. Like, it used to be that um, there was an unlimited level of tiers that you could charge. So, now they lowered it to 50. Oh. Because they, for everyone. For everybody. Ooh. And then they also maxed the tip amount to a certain amount for everybody. Because the platform was getting absolutely hammered by chargebacks because she wasn't showing them titties. Yeah, here. Here it is. Thank you, Ian. Here it is. So, uh, here, someone said, unlock for $200. Naked, naked? Yes, naked. How naked is the question for $200? No clothes naked. Hmm. I mean, this is just a compilation of tweets and stuff. But it says, Bella Thorne scammed her fans and set out a $200 non-nude PPV. Is that why the max PPV price is $50 now and why fans can only tip $100 now? Because this dumb B word scammed everyone and OnlyFans is getting massive amounts of chargebacks. Wow. So somehow her oh, man. her doing this has like affected a lot of these sex workers on the platform. So, and then AB just put a... Uh a tweet where she said, also, no, I'm not doing nudity. So, I mean, that's, that screenshot was of a DM. I mean, can't, can't those be faked? It could be faked. Very, very, very oh. certainly. It was on it's blue, everybody. But so, like, I mean, if she didn't lie, can we blame her for... Because I saw a lot of people were just mad in general that she did this. Because I guess they feel like maybe that she was stepping on the toes of sex workers. Yeah, there's a comment here saying she made an OnlyFans to find her movie about her sex 
Mark's work life, mm. but she was never a part of that community to begin with. So. Mm. Well, she she made a f two million dollars. I mean, I surprised so many people paid for that. I mean, damn, just to see some titties, dude, twenty bucks, or not even to see some titties. So, what kind did you see? Like, what did we see there? Did we see the through top? That staff? it wasn't at the end. That it went out to all her members. Oh, so that's real. That's well, according then, to people. Here. I mean, that's that, then that's unquestionably well, a that's scam. She just straight up lied. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah just a I actually think that's fraud. Yeah. We're talking about titty frauds. <laughs> <And> titty frauds. <laughs> Which is crazy to say, but that's fraud. Remember, who was the... Uh, Ian would remember. There was like a rapper or somebody that everybody got super mad at for, for lying about releasing nudes. Really? <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a Do Doja Cat, right? Doja Cat, she right. Oh, yeah. That one, yeah. Right. We talked well, about that, too. this one's different. That was different. Yeah, this right. Different. That, I'm saying, like, this one is actual fraud. Like, she just straight up lied. She's going to get That's sued. This is going to be a huge <laughs> That's not problem for her. So, the, we need to get... Can you guys get to the truth of this? Um, yeah. If this was a real message or fake regarding yeah, the... I mean, it, I mean, it's shitty either way. What's what's happening in the you know the platform clamping down, but it, it makes a big difference. Yeah, it's a huge difference. She made that claim and then went back on it. Um. So anyway, we have an OnlyFans member who uh, who is she ready to cute to, to jump in? I'd like to ask her about this as someone. Uh, who yeah, let me check real quick. And okay. what's her name? What's what's the info about her? You spoke with her, Zach. Could you uh, sniff? Sniff is her name. Mm. <laughs> Who's sniffing who? <laughs> right. Good question. I would call that uh, false advertising. Right. See, he knows something about that. It's not fraud. That's not fraud. <laughs> right. <laughs> so what is it? Actually, actually, I feel like Ja Rule and, and Bell... Uh, Bella Thorne would be really good business partners. <laughs> Maybe they could put on a uh, festival together. Uh, she's in the lobby. What's her name? Sniff. Sniff, are you there? Yeah, hi. Sniff, why do we call it Sniff? Well, actually, my Instagram name is Sniff You. So, it's kind of embarrassing and ridiculous, but my friends used to be bully me because I love to, like, smell sweat, I guess. Oh, so you, you have a stench. You have a stink to you. No, no, no. I like to smell others. Sweat. Oh, you like to smell other people's <laughs> sweat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> does it uh, does it sex is it a sexual thing or you just like the smell? I don't know. Actually, I thought whenever my brothers like smell like sweat, I thought that it was perfume. Oh my! So God. I just thought it was like really. That's good. pretty gross, dude. <laughs> That's pretty gross. <laughs> 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 I'm but just when, being honest. <laughs> but when you're with a guy, do you like to uh, partake in the smell, or is it just not a sexual thing? Um, well, it could be. It could I be. Guess. Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. I think there's a lot of guys who probably. I mean, that's kind of it. Cool that you don't have to worry about stinking. In fact, do you like when you're with a guy? Do you like him to not shower too much? Yeah. <laughs> So what's a good amount of time to to not shower for your boyfriend? Well, that, depends, that depends on the guy, but I like the smell, so. And so, and so, like, are we talking maybe a, not every day shower, clear, maybe like once a week? Well, I like them to be clean. I just like the smell, so it's kind of like a difficult situation. So maybe they would shower, but just not wash the the armpits at all, ever. Yes. Wow, yes. interesting. Would you like me to try that, Ela? <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Man, sniff you. Interesting. You ever smell people out in public when you're like maybe? Because I'm thinking on like, the train. yeah, on the train or whatever. When you're in close proximity, you can catch a whiff of bo. Most people would be like, oh man, that's crazy. But maybe you lean in a little closer and see what's up. It's like how you feel when you smell glue, kind of. How some people feel when they smell glue. Like it's, it's like, oh my god, that's great. Wow, that's awesome. I think that's really cool. <laughs> but, like, up till now, that's been a secret, so. <laughs> and do you like your own smell? Mm, 
No, actually, I never smelled my own sweat until like two weeks ago, maybe, and it was horrible. Aww. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting because usually we like our own smells and not the other way around. So, a fascinating case yeah. study, uh, Sniff. Do you have any opinion yeah. about feet? Um, I personally, I don't like feet necessarily, but I can totally see why people would like feet. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a lot of people asking me for feet pictures and sure, everything. Sure, of course, absolutely. So. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. Is it particularly the armpit smell you like? or Because sometimes like the pubic area can get super wild. Do you like that smell as yeah. well? Um, it's, it's a difficult situation because <laughs> I like it, but it's, sometimes it can be like smell like death. Oh my and goodness, like that does sound like a, <laughs> that certainly does sound tough. <laughs> Do you ever just put your nose yeah. in someone's armpit or pubes and just like right in there and just breathe deep? Yes. That's awesome. I do. That's awesome. <laughs> and do, is there other, uh, is, do different people have better smells or is it all good? Uh, I actually have smelled very few people. I used to do cheerleading and I would smell a lot of stuff with them. Um, but girl sweat is a little bit different, I think, than guys. Would, would you ever sneak smells of like dirty underwear and stuff? No. <laughs> Just no, kidding. Never. What about like a shirt? Would you ever sneak like a, you find a shirt on the ground and you go and sniff it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I yes. that. God, I love her. Yeah, Vin Diesel's a fan. And you're <laughs> not from the US, right? Where are you from? No, I'm from Norway. Oh, cool. That's awesome, dude. Let me ask you this. Yeah. If you're are you in a committed relationship or have you ever been? Uh, yes, I've been in a few, but I'm not very experienced in like the relationship area. Uh, can I ask you uh, in a particular situation? Let's say you're dating a guy. Would yeah. it be, let's say, uh, would it be considered an act of cheating to go sniff another mm -hmm. person's, you know, discarded clothing, for example? Um, I'm not sure about that. Actually, I don't think it would be cheating, but, but I mean, maybe like a little sus. Yeah, it would be. I would feel maybe a little insecure if I was like, "Damn, she's out there sniffing other dudes' armpits and shit." And yeah, you know what I mean. Like, it might make me feel a little insecure. Is all I'm saying. Yeah, I probably wouldn't say that I would do it, but maybe if I like went by a guy's wardrobe or something, yeah, I would do it secretly. Yeah, I, I, I have a feeling that. Uh, this is a passion of yours that probably... You, you think you'll be sniffing yeah. armpits till the day you die? Or maybe, like, once you hit menopause, you'll get over the smelling? I have done it since I was little. I think it's something that's, like, integrated into me. So I'll probably be doing it forever. That's awesome. <laughs> well, let me ask you, let's move on to the OnlyFans uh, controversy. Do you have any thoughts on the Bella Thorne uh, issue? Yeah, um, I really honestly think it sucks that that even happened. And I definitely think that the fact that she did that, she should be held accountable because mm. it's not okay to false advertise. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you should like, be clear on what you're selling and what you're doing and not lie. Did we, um... It sounds like she was unclear from what A.B. said. Well, yeah, I was trying to find out, did she really say there was nude nudes or... Because or, we're kind of confused on this. On Twitter, it just um, seemed yeah. like she just announced it. Oh, she just tweeted that there's no nudes. But, like, on the actual announcement of, I guess, the OnlyFans, she wasn't clear. Mm. Correct. Well, I think it's fair to assume that there will be nudes on... Only fans, right? I mean, I mean. Well, I, I guess I would assume that, but I, I always know. thought that too. But it, evidently the, not. Gotta plug my Some of it's just uh, oh. risque stuff. So, what do you do on Only Fans? Do you do? To what extent do you go? Well, I don't do completely nude content, mm. and I can see why it it would seem like that because of the website and like the whole expectation of things but i actually have very few people who subscribe to me that are like disappointed 
um, right. that there aren't news because uh, often people will subscribe for like custom content or I do like a lot of, I don't know how to say it, but I have Guru or whatever, the anime hentai face. Uh, do you watch hentai when you get off? <laughs> I used to, but now I, I'm in like the, I don't watch anything at all. Oh, you gave it up. Because I've, I've actually been interested to talk to somebody who likes hentai because, <laughs> like, as much as I I like hentai, I, I, I've heard people say of hentai, they know that nobody, there's no victim in that. So I, I think that's a really good, I think that's good, right? Yeah. But, it, but I, I yeah. just, it doesn't do anything for me, the hentai. So um, I you guess it... You just wonder what they like about it? Yeah, I guess it just, it's good. In, I mean, do you like hentai better than normal porn? I, when I used to watch porn, I stopped because uh, it really depressed me, but when I used to do it, um, I would watch hentai because of the fact that, like, it's so brutal, kind of, and you can watch girls, like, get tons of tentacles and stuff, you can, like, monsters and everything, stuff you can watch in normal porn, so that's why I watched it, at least. Oh, so you were you liked how brutal the hentai was? Huh. Yeah. So oh, that's fascinating. So tell so me you about. You wouldn't want to see like a brutal actual porn. So that's why, like. Well, sometimes they role play really hardcore stuff, but maybe it's depressing because it's yeah. a real person, right? That's what you're saying. No, like I would watch it as long as it's consensual. But the thing is that it doesn't. Like, the normal porn, they don't do all the stuff that you can animate. Oh, it's not. So it doesn't, like, yeah, they don't do all the tentacles and monsters and everything that I was into. Oh, that's so interesting. So what is it about the tentacles and monsters that, that you like? I've always been curious about that. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it's just the fact that the other person is, like, uh, helpless, I guess. Mm. And it's a lot more like, um, yeah, brutal, intense, and everything. So you, you do you, so you like to see it on maybe the the rougher, more brutal side, and the the tentacles deliver that that promise where the uh, people sometimes fail. <laughs> yeah, because the tentacles, you know, they're slimy. They can be big or small, and they can go everywhere. And wow. some tentacles <laughs> like. How are you ever going to? How can you ever be pleased by a man when when you're competing with tentacles? <laughs> well, I I when I used to watch it, I hadn't had actual sex yet. Oh, you're virgin. So, no, not, not anymore. <laughs> but when I used to. Oh. And now I realize that you know it, I don't really watch it anymore. So it's fine just having normal sex. Like I don't need it. That's, I find it absolutely fascinating that <laughs> what before you ever had sex, it was the tentacle porn. Do you ever fantasize about what tentacles smell like? No, I don't. <laughs> Just curious. You never know where it's, you know. Yeah, no, you know right now, I like, I like all kinds of smells, so. You like all kinds of what? Smells. Oh, smells, yeah. For sure. What about the yeah. smell of semen? I've always found that really disgusting, but maybe you like it. I don't, like, I never get to smell it before it's gone. Right. Would you maybe so, like, would you maybe like your partner to set it aside for a little bit so you could smell <laughs> it? I actually asked uh, my partner once to, if I could collect his human in a cup. Right. And put it in resin so that I had, like, a cup of semen in resin, like, on display. You wanted to. You wanted to. You wanted to put it in what? On a display. Resin. It's like um. You can make like. Uh, like what bell with the USB of nudes for us. Oh, you wanted to. You wanted to preserve his semen. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Interesting. For future generations. Was it like an art project or? or oh, I gotta tell you, dude. I, I mean, that's that's really. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, well, I think that you know, I think it's a shame that that Belle came in and if she li if she or Bella if she really lied about the nudes, then it sucks because as I understand it, it's she's limited the amount of money you guys can make now in terms of tips and tier levels. Is that right? Yeah. Well, on OnlyFans, there aren't really tiers per mm -hmm. se, mm -hmm. but uh, you can.
can like tip and then you can get into like a special thing, I guess. Um, but yeah, it really sucks that like she, she's ruining it. She's like trying to empower the sex workers, but she's like ruining it for the sex workers, and it sucks. Mm. But OnlyFans has had a lot of controversy, like in general recently. Really, about what? Um, well, apparently, I haven't really updated in a few days, but apparently, they have like um, they're getting sued because they're not paying taxes. Oh, what the? I don't hell? know. Yeah, I don't know if that's like how true that is, but that's what I read everywhere, and they're like apparently deleting content creators. But don't quote me on that. But oh. I've been thinking of like moving over to Patreon or something. Mm. OnlyFans steeped in controversy. Well, Only I hope fans, it uh, faces allegations of fraud and theft. Oh Jeez. my God! This is from you know that's August thirteenth. Come on, man, get you get it together. Well, I hope I mean, that whatever happens. So much money involved now in OnlyFans. I mean, they gotta get it together. I mean, I'm sure you're paying taxes, right, uh, Sniff? You know why can't they? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I actually had to make a whole business just to pay taxes in Norway. <laughs> yeah. Well, Sniff, I've really enjoyed talking to you and learning about you. Thank you for sharing with us. Yeah. What is your OnlyFans? I'm sure there's a lot of people with a box of tissue and moisturizer that wouldn't mind going <laughs> over your page. What is your page? Um, well, my Instagram uh, is just Sniff You. Sniff You. Um, uh, yeah, Sniff You, just straight up. And there my OnlyFans is in the link there, so everything is linked. And my OnlyFans is just Sniff You, too. Well, keep on sniffing. I think it sounds fantastic. And um, tell me, Sniff, what, but, um, what was? Can I ask you something? What was like the most nin the riskiest sniff you ever took? Uh, probably when I was cheerleading, like just like um, sniffing people when I caught them, like in my arms or whatever. They probably heard me because they were right there. So that's whoa. How they so you would just put you your get, nose like, right loud, like and go <laughs> like a real deep smell. <laughs> Although people, I mean, That's people funny, are probably the did or for because he oh, laughs. laughs. Yeah, I don't sniff his arm though. <laughs> no. Um, um, although I probably imagine the reaction is a lot less severe if it was just a dude that looked like me, you know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably. Well, does I'm anyone does anyone ever get mad at you f if they catch you sniffing them? That ha that hasn't happened, but that's never I've happened. Had, like, wow, that's. I've had boyfriends uh, like think that it's weird. Let me ask you this, Sniff. How do you wipe? <laughs> I just I write, I wipe from the back, and then when I'm done, when there's nothing left, I shower with. Um, soap. Oh, you shower every time you poop? No, but I make sure to shower every day, like, okay. at the end and wash yeah. well. So you're just a regular mm. wiper? Yeah, nothing, no surprises. Do you <laughs> yes. look, do you look you after... You don't twerk or anything. Twerk, <laughs> you, don't, you don't finger yourself. <laughs> uh, oh Sniff, do you look at, at the wipes every time, or is it just... Yes. Yeah, you do. <laughs> every time. Every time. Same. I used to use a lot of baby wipes, but after you guys told me about everything, I stopped. You should get a, you should, I really recommend, like, you can get a bidet connector that, that aren't expensive. I mean, Tushy has mm -hmm. one that's like 65 bucks. It's really good. So I recommend that. Cool. But anyway, Sniff, it's been a joy and a pleasure. I've learned a lot and I'm, and I'm absolutely fascinated. Yeah. So thank it you for sharing. Really interesting. Yeah. But Ethan, Ethan, one second. Yes. I just want to say something really quick to like the um, people who are watching, because you were talking about your body and body issues earlier. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to say that all the chubby guys out there, like, it's okay. I feel like there aren't enough focus on body positivity for men. And I just want to say there are girls out there who will love you and you are beautiful as you are. Or guys, if you're into guys. I just wanted to say that. Are you a chubby chaser? Um, well, I like a little extra schmeat. I do. Really? <laughs> so do you, she, she likes schmeat. Schmeat. <laughs> I think that's what she said. So are you, are you attracted more to, like, a guy of my size than a skinny dude? Yeah. Mm. There you go. 
I mean, I'm, I'm really not good. very attracted to like a skinny dude. Not either. skinny, but like, yeah. But I can understand why you are like well, we have a song. About yeah. yeah. But that's interesting. <laughs> dude, everyone in the chat is like, dude, this girl is perfect. <laughs> she likes to she likes me to stink. She likes the fat dude. I mean, hello. So do you like a dude generally dudes who are hairy or probably smell more? Is that you look for a hairy guy? Yeah. Damn, oh. look at this. <laughs> Are you currently looking for uh are or you love. currently looking for love? Um I'm not really I'm very focused on the business and university but I'm open for boyfriend applications. Are you interested in possibly being on the next season of The Bachelor? Oh uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that would now now that would be interesting. It does always end in a disastrous <laughs> way though, so Well, but so far, it's but, been all but love. It's perfect. Yeah. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Sniff. Take care, all right? Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for calling. All right. Bye. <laughs> wow, dude. These calls are great. So, is are you guys hearing sound bites through the call? Because we aren't. Uh, yeah, we I are. I think, but uh, part of the problem is Zach, uh, it, it, because we're doing the calls through Discord, okay. he's not hearing it on Zoom. Got it. So he's not able to like live react to it. I'll, I'll try I and figure see. out. Maybe there's a way okay. we can uh, figure that out for, yeah. for the next episode so that he can listen in on the call. Yeah, AB says he can. But I've got to say, so what we've been doing is pre-vetting people on Discord, and, and it's working great because the calls mm -hmm. today have been fan-fucking-tastic. Yeah, this was amazing. I loved listening. Yeah. I love how it's open really she fun is. fun actually talking to people, just, you know, random listeners. Dude, she loves, she great. sniffs people on the train <laughs> deeply. <laughs> But that's kind of like pretty girl privilege, right? <laughs> she can go up to people and go, right. if I did that, I'd get, I would be in jail already. <laughs> that's true. And she says no one's ever got mad at her. <laughs> yeah. I'd probably just be more confused. That's true. I would be yeah. very well, she's, confused. The thing is, she's really like a small, sweet, petite girl, so she's not very threatening. Yeah. It's maybe, so th good. maybe that's what dude on the floor <laughs> was doing when he was spying. You're trying to get a sniff oh. in there? My the, favorite guy who goes, why are you on the floor? <laughs> huh? <laughs> wow, that was awesome. So did we ever get a final verdict on what was the truth behind Bella Thorne's OnlyFans? Um, it just sounds like she was not clear. But what is that screenshot of her telling the, them, yes, fully new, $200? Well, well, the chat said that that was on her OnlyFans. That wasn't a DM. That was like So a, that's what's up. We don't have like a hard proof. But yeah, I mean, people, uh -oh. can, that I know of. people can fake screenshots and stuff. So, I mean, but, let me lock and see if it's on there. Hold on. I mean, it's pretty. She probably removed it. Pretty <laughs> weird to be not clear to from the beginning. Also, it's so expensive. You would, you know, I would expect yeah. to see at least a butthole for 220 bucks. 200, yeah, it's a lot. 200, yeah. Well, for 200, I better see a fucking somebody wiping with a swirl and a dip and all that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this next segment, you guys, we may lose all of our viewers because it's so fucking disgusting. Uh -oh. oh, God, is this the popping? It's so we gotta vile. Give, we got to give a, a big heads up because I think some people. Some people probably can't hang with this. I'm saying, I think we're going to lose all of our viewers. I think <laughs> it's going to drop out. Uh, let's take a... We're at about 17,000 right now. And... I, so, I'll just give a background. There's this whole phenomenon lately of pimple popping. Something, frankly, that has always horrified me. Now, I know that there's certain people that really like it for whatever reason. For example, I had friends in college that would want me they would ask people in general take off your shirt and let me pop your pimples gross. that to me is just like as gross as it gets yeah yet here we are for example there's that toy that we did with the yeah. dumb products where you pop the pimples there's a show now on tlc called dr pimple popper which by the way <laughs> is it is a, a crime against god himself i hate when they even just show a commercial for it i feel like the commercial is too graphic yeah <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm on Instagram because I'm all about that Instagram discovery feed. That's how I found like the Turkish chefs and all these people I love. And sometimes they'll give the hero slot this huge square as just a really graphic popping video. And I'm like, you cannot just throw that on me like that. Nope. 
and I get it's really upset. So I don't know how many. So, but I guess it's going to be entertaining to watch me be forced to watch this. I think Maybe. that's what's entertaining because I will tell you, I am truly and honestly horrified and disgusted. Max level. There's not much that disgusts me. I saw a dude. Uh, Eating a toe, deep throating a foot, and I made it made me want to eat Subway. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. I just realized though, this really is all about the reaction and um, the way everything's structured right now. Is uh, I don't have like the picture in picture where we can see you guys while the video is playing. Oh, it's okay. No. Oh, we well, you can just face, well, you can like, just cut back and forth. Yeah. Mm. I mean, what can you do? I, this one's I, on I Facebook. Can, I can add one real quick, dude. I I honestly am so. I so don't want to watch this, but I'm going to do it for the show. This is what H3 After Dark is all about. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, give me one second. I can I can set this up. Can can one of you guys get someone on the can call? You closer to me. Yeah. Yeah, I can, can grab someone quick. I want someone who who who's into this. Oh yeah, someone here said their wife loves it. Yeah, I, dude, I swear to God, it's female. It's females that love this. I I've never why. met a dude. I, don't, I hate it. <laughs> you I hate can it. never. I've never known a dude who likes this, but it's all females. I don't know if it's like, it's like these monkeys that fuck, you know, you see these monkeys like. No, I don't. <laughs> what? Monkeys, are they're always grooming each other. It's super sweet. Oh, grooming each other, yeah. yeah. It's a, it's like an act of grooming, I think, is, is what it is. Mm. I don't. All right, I set it up. I've got sure. a little, I got a little box in box here for you. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. Very slick, Dan. All right, well, let's just watch it. I warned you guys. I'm curious to see if our viewers go down. It went down a little bit, not as much as I'd expect, though. Well, but I didn't even watch it. Dude, this is chat, fucked Dan, up. Don't do it. This but, is uh, all, dude. What the fuck? I didn't even show it. This is so fucked up. <laughs> I mean, this is on Wait, Facebook. Can it traumatize me? I mean, ugh, traumatized. You gave birth. You had a baby come f spiraling out of oh, your vagina, no, bro. I, you know what? I can't do it. You have to. It's for the show. <laughs> so this no. one's popping back. It's, popping back no. spot with muscles. Oh, oh, he's just gonna flex and do it? What? Oh, that's gonna No, I can't watch it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was nothing. That was nothing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that one is really. You saw it on the stream now. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it on the stream? Uh -uh. Dude, oh why would God. anybody even film this? No. I mean, I'm... Yeah! No! There was like an afterbirth. Did you see the second no. one? Yeah. I did it. What? What is that? Doesn't seem normal. That doesn't seem. What is wrong? That's not a pimple. That's, That's like a why fucking I said tumor. It's gonna traumatize me. <laughs> Look. Look. Ew! 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 ew, ew. <laughs> I've never even seen a pimple that big. Exactly. This is Desist. like the most tame one of the set. It is. I can't. I don't I know. I think this is it. I don't think I can <laughs> go on. <laughs> Wait, it's a cyst. You're not supposed to. I don't think you're supposed to pop a cyst what? like that. Well, you know. Well, That's I think you're disgusting. supposed to do it professionally. Is the thing. Yeah. Dude, they're all on Facebook. Facebook doesn't give a fuck. Facebook is wild, man. <laughs> it's a wild west on there. Imagine this is on your feed in Facebook. I see people in the chat though saying, "Wow, that's so satisfying." Like I, that's no. some people find it. That's the extremely thing. Extremely satisfying. I find it like as fucking gross <laughs> no. as it gets. Let's not. What? Look how big that is. Be careful. Either right? watch. Yes. You have to watch. Out somebody's face. I'm telling you, it's from yeah, my you face. Have my face, so we're pretty golden there. No. How big is that? <laughs> Ah, it squirted mm. in her face. Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> so you're just Do you have any lidocaine? The top surface stuff. Huge mm. Do you have any lidocaine? Yeah. Do you want to inject him? She asked if he needs an injection of painkiller. Why is it so big? <gasps> you don't get a say in this, sir. <laughs> Okay, are we done? No. I think we're done. I don't I think, think the done. main show has come. <laughs> oh Wait, you have to see that. It hit the fucking camera. No. What? Watch this, Eli. You have to see this. No, I don't know. You have to watch it. It hit the oh. camera. <laughs> Holy shit. 
<laughs> oh my wow. god. Okay. So there's people that, that aren't absolutely horrified by that and find it like satisfying. We're not watching anymore. That's it. <laughs> oh, we did lose. Did we lose? No, we didn't lose. Well, it was lose. about a hundred people. Really not that much. How can you enjoy that? <laughs> Here's another, we have to do this for the show. This is the whole point. How many more? This dude's on his fucking face. What the fuck? Wait, Dude, this is the whole. More? Wait, hold on. I'm more interested. What is this Facebook page? They've got like the whole SoFlo shit. It's called. This Facebook page is called Spot Popping Satisfaction. Satis <laughs> Satisfaction. Satisfaction. <laughs> So the, the, the description is, this is so satisfying, but I can feel his pain. There's no way. I, I can't believe I'm Wait, is that real? Is that real? Look how big it is. How can that be real? I feel like that's got to be fake. It looks oh, real, though. It's real. Like the... How do you just... Why, how do you wait that long to address that? No. This one's going to be so bad. Right. Is, yeah, it's oh. going to be so bad. Why is he smiling? You don't want to go. No, this might nervous. be fake. How does he let it go that long? It before, but... People are begging no. <laughs> and I am begging to no! Oh! Dear <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> disgusting. What? Nasty stuff. How much shit is in there? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Clean it up, please. Oh my god. Like, so gross. Is, wait, is this fake? How can there wow. be so much shit in there? <laughs> I've seen Nana? way worse than this. You have? <coughs> There's one th way worse than this coming up if we keep going. He smelled Ooh. it! Oh, come on. Doesn't smell very good either. <laughs> How does he let it go that far? That first of all, that is just that's so fucking wrong. How do you let a pimple get that big on your fucking face to begin? That's what makes me think it's fake. What do you mean let? I mean it just happens. Dude, yeah, what, what do you, do you mean? You How long do does it take to get a pimple that big? I've never seen big. a pimple that big ever anywhere in the world. Well, yeah, I, I, I can't. Some people get it really bad. I can't I explain know. exactly, but yeah, it, it happens. <laughs> That's why Some I said it's traumatizing it's me, because I think it's going to happen then. <laughs> Man has mayo dispenser on his shoulder? You fucking seriously going to title it that? Just for Dan. Okay, I, I don't know about that. Oh, this guy looks like a legend. That guy looks like Michael Moore. I Look feel like face. we should cut it here. Oh my gosh. Ela's, Ela's saying bail. I'm kind of with her. I gotta agree on it too. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're committed. Oh god. Really? We didn't lose that many viewers. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. We only lost a hundred. I was expecting. A huge drama. Yeah. Do you still want a subway? No. <laughs> no, I don't. With extra mayo. And so maybe I'm still. Maybe this could be a good diet. Just watch. Okay, I'm just gonna watch one Simple more. You guys pop. tell me which is the one I should watch. Biggest cyst of all time. Biggest cyst of all time popped. Wait, so Warning, not, disgusting. So it's a cyst, it's not even a pimple at this point? Like, yeah, I mean... They, yeah. yeah, they kind of overlap. It's just like a really big pimple. So let's get rid of this Michael Moore How is mayonnaise. this cyst? Um, I guess I didn't realize that. that okay, so thing. so this is... Oh, dude, I what can't not. Fuck? <laughs> Wait, what, what am, what I, am I, I looking at? at? It looks like her hand it's is conjoined. It's a huge cyst. No, you see that? I can't watch million, that. Dude, a million people watch I'm this, Hila. I feel like I'm, that's going to happen to me now. A million people watch this. <laughs> Let me read the comments before I get into this. More than likely, that'll grow back because the sack wasn't removed. Learned a lot from, oh. from the Dr. Pimple Popper. Imagine being at a family reunion and then someone suggests to pop Grandpa's back cyst. I think the gagging noises were worse than the actual video. <laughs> that dude sounds like you, Ethan, in the video. Yeah, actually. That's Every right. Thanksgiving, we milk Uncle Larry in the backyard. Oh, God. Something okay, like we, have to, we have to. We have to watch right. it. Makes it even worse. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to click it. I feel like before. I feel like before you're about to do something like intensely painful. You know, like you it's. To, like, I'm, that yeah. I'm that dreading. I'm that dreading. 
Makes your skin crawl. Yeah. What? Where is it? Like on the body. Oh, oh, back. Ew. oh does that happen? Are you watching? Yeah. Dude, you've got to see a doctor. You need to yeah. see a doctor. Don't let... Dude, this should not be taking place in a backyard. Like, no. Exactly. Go to the doctor. It looks like no. cheese. It looks like cottage cheese. <laughs> it's like curded. Oh, God. No. Don't laugh. You need to go to a doctor. No. It's coming out like cottage cheese. I swear to God. It looks... Ah! <laughs> Dude, there's hella people watching. Give me a fucking... Dude, go to a doctor. Please go to a doctor. This is not the setting. Imagine the dog comes and eats that. It's on the grass. It's bleeding everywhere. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. I'm out. I'm queasy. Look at that, Eric. Oh god. It's still going? Dude, that's so cool. It's still going. So grossly cool. Oh, gross. Dad, physically possible. Look at all that I've got. Oh god. Where'd you go? You think that's left? Wait, no. Looks like I took off the screen. Pause. They're gonna. Okay, you need to sit down. Wait, there's still that much time there's left? Still, oh, yeah, there's still, it's still plenty still to going, go, but I mean, I'm we definitely, we got the idea, right? <laughs> you almost puke right there, Ethan? Does anyone ever watch Dr. Pimple Popper? While they eat? Well, I'm just wondering, like, how does that show have any view, view ratings? It must have. Have you seen the numbers online? They're crazy. No, of I what? Haven't. Oh, what do you mean by that? Dr. Pimple Popper. She started online, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, like her YouTube videos? Instagram, and then YouTube eventually, and then she got her show. Oh, so she's just a passionate pimple popper that that found success on TLC. Mm -hmm. Somebody, uh, I've got someone who called in who who uh, is into this type of stuff, and okay. especially Dr. Pimple Popper. Name? So, uh, Karen. Karen? Oh, Ooh. no. <laughs> uh, Karen, are you with us? Uh, she's in now. Karen? Oh, hey. First of Hi. all, how, how, what's going on with you being named Karen? How has that affected your life since the Karen meme has, has come about? <laughs> okay, so um, it's, I, I feel like I have the title of I'm the only person who can legitimately be offended by being called Karen because um, I'm trans and that's my dead name. <laughs> Um, oh. So. Oh. Wait, yeah. it's your so what? Honestly, it's your, wait, I'm sorry. I just it's your dead name. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like the so, name I was given at birth. Okay. So you're that, so you're that, um, you're a male. Really. Um, I'm non-binary, but yeah. Oh, but so, so do you, you want us to call you Karen? Karen? Yeah. What's your name? Um, I go by Ren. So why did, uh, Ian, did Ian? Why did Ian introduce you as Karen? Well, because I just, I mentioned to him that that's my legal name. I didn't oh. tell him that I'm Karen. Oh, okay. okay, Ren. So we'll call you Ren. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Karen so that's kind of a, you yeah, I mean, on many levels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, so. It's, it's kind of good you you bailed on that name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what's funny is that the <laughs> meme didn't bother me until the boomers caught wind of it. Hmm. Um, oh. And then they wanted to keep having conversations and like, Complain to me about it as if I would be like sympathetic towards them. Oh, they it. are looking to you like, for like I'm a not fellow Karen. The Karens. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So Ren... they're like, oh, you hate this meme too. Let me complain to you about it. Oh my God! I wonder if there's Facebook groups for Karens who are like coping with like a the meme. Group? Yeah, support group. <laughs> I'm sure there are. Eh? Yeah. So Ren, <laughs> let me ask you, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Why do you watch this shit? <laughs> So Tell me, actually, what do you feel when you watch this? What's wrong with me is I have OCD. Oh. Um, and so I have um, sort of a subcondition that's related to OCD called dermatillomania, um, which is basically com like compulsive skin picking. Hmm. Um, oh. And so I will just like absolutely demolish my skin. Um, and like it started with just acne, but then it, very quickly turned into like 
any visible pores or body hair or just like anything on my skin that wasn't just like perfectly like smooth and flat and um wow. you know not discolored um and so i kind of use these videos as a way to like mm. um keep myself from doing that to sort of satisfy like that obsession without destroying myself pretty does much. it help you that's so interesting yeah um it's sort of um yeah i find it kind of satisfying because the way i sort of explain this obsession because i know it sounds kind of weird um is that like my brain interprets any like acne or anything like that kind of like it's um a parasite or something Ooh. like there's this awful um like bad thing under my skin that mm. is trapped under there and i need to like remove it by whatever means necessary um <clears throat> and so it's sort of feeling like i need to get it out of my body and so um those videos where i i'm not a big fan of the cysts um i don't find them really gross but um the fact that like you have to like keep going and keep going and it doesn't come out in like one satisfying bit mm. is kind of um not as good for me i guess so i can imagine that it's probably quite damaging to your to your body yeah. if you're constantly picking pores and hairs and stuff yeah um it I don't wear tank tops in public anymore because of it. Because, like, I mostly focus on my shoulders and my chest. Mm. Um, and it has just, like, gotten to the point where, like, it. I just constantly have these, like, they're the size of, like, maybe a pencil eraser. But they're just, like, um, all over my shoulders and... Just, just lots like of scars and such. Like yeah. So what are yeah. you, are you in therapy? Are you taking some kind of medicine to help the lower the um, urges? I mean, I tried therapy, but um, sure. I think I haven't found the right one yet. Yeah. Um, I, I went to um, a psychiatrist for it, um, but this psychiatrist absolutely sucks. She was like, oh, you should stop doing that. I'm like, that's all that she said. It's not quite yeah, like, very cool. understanding. <laughs> She's like, okay, sure. I'm cured. I wish yeah. someone said that I'm earlier. I'm cured. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, it's actually, well, for you, in your case, I'm very glad that you're able to find this kind of content that uh, if it's helpful to you, then that's fantastic. Do you feel that you do it less when you watch those videos? I mean, I think so. Hmm. Yeah. Do you ever, it's, it's do you ever pick while you're stop. watching? Um... No, I don't usually. Hmm. Um, I sometimes wonder if it might trigger me to start doing it. So I don't know if I'm like, if I should stop entirely or if like, if it's really helping me or if it's just like feeding into it. But Well, probably a good yeah. therapist could help you figure that out. That's yeah. tough though. Yeah. Well, Ren, thank you for sharing. Yeah. And I, I wish no you problem. all the best with... Uh, with getting that under control, I hope you, I hope you, I hope you get it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for calling me in. This is fun. All right. Thank you. Yeah. This was really interesting. God bless. Actually. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. So, does so everybody who watches this show has a OCD or? Probably not everybody, no, but I, that is, <laughs> but no, but that that is an interesting angle. I, I think there is a connection there. Mm -hmm. uh, AB found uh, Doctor Pimple Popper's uh, views and put a screenshot of it in Discord. You, you got to see this. Okay, this is her YouTube channel, or like her? Let's see. I think so, <laughs> her right? YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So this, okay, so she was like a phenomenon before she got her own TLC show. Whoa, dude! No fucking way. What? Sixty-two million. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Forty-nine what? million. 40, I guess I should watch these. Oh I should. my! <laughs> Here. No, what are you seeing that on his the neck? The grapefruit one. Oh, oh which one? God. Yeah, the grapefruit. The middle. The middle, right now. Oh wow! Holy. See, how can you put this in a thumbnail? This to me seems obscene and and horrific. I guess because it's. I mean, it's medical. Although these are all super old, I bet YouTube doesn't allow this shit to get like suggested anymore. Here, let me look well, at. They her. got a. They got a TV show now, so I guess. Yeah, she's out. Good. She's yeah. like, fuck you, YouTube. Doctor Pimple Popper, YouTube. Dr. Sandra Lee, what's the difference, Zach? Oh, that's her. I mean, her real name's Dr. Sandra Lee. Oh. Oh, but that's her channel? Because what did I just see? Is this her? This is her channel, Multiple yes. Channel oh, she's, yeah. dude, she's got almost 7 million subscribers. Wow, it's so big, the whole genre. 
Dude, yeah. like she's banking on this shit. Imagine this. Like, she's got a passion. She's got, she's got fans. So this is number one. I mean, we have to watch it. Oh, really? I yeah. Thought we were all 62 for it. million people watched this. You're Hila. the one that walked up on us. Dude, six. Walked away. Dude, 62 million people watched this. This is this is apparently something Why incredible. Why does it look like a black like like? So, Why is it so black? <laughs> so it's an 85 year old woman. A giant blackhead. It is a giant blackhead. No. Extracted in an 85-year-old woman. Oh, boy. This is... Dude, you have to appreciate the fact that 62 mm -hmm. million people have watched this. <laughs> like, you have to... You, we have to contribute. Okay. You're the one that can't get up and walk away. I... I, I might. <laughs> okay, enough with the fucking preamble. That looks get to the so goods. bad. She's got all these disclaimers and shit. I'm surprised so many people... Oh, they're the actually, um... Oh, they gave her painkillers. Oh, that? That's good. Well, at least she's a God. doctor, you know what I, I mean? Like I feel like in the backyard. Yeah, it's not like, it's not like, a <sighs> Kerning cheese us? in the backyard. What about our pain? <laughs> 60... Where's the injection for that? <laughs> yeah, you had a baby. <laughs> I still can't watch that. I watched the baby come out. That was pretty wild. Yeah, that is pretty wild. Don't you didn't have to head. watch it. You had to do it, but you didn't yeah. have to watch it. Yeah. We have to watch this. Too many people have watched this video for us not to watch it. I can see it. Oh, you can see it in the mirror. Okay, you see it in the mirror. Yeah. It, man, this is some oh, shit. I feel like... <laughs> Wait, everyone's typing F. Does that mean yeah. don't watch? That's why I love I'm watching it. I can't not. I mean, there's too many views. There's lots of Fs. Well, look, I mean, I, I warned you guys. That's okay. I'm going to put a little numbing here, so don't move around too much here, because I don't want to have it hurt you. Can you put Novocaine into my emotions? <laughs> I just got to numb around it so that you can't feel me kind of This thing stop. Here. Because the last, you said it keeps and filling I'm up, but it's been a long time since it's been 60 million, so you guys. 60 million people watch this. Don't be such it pussies. Was, it wasn't deep, she said. Twice. Mm. Twice. 60 million people watch been. this. Oh, it's under there. It, um, she doesn't feel a thing. That's good. Well, Novocaine is awesome. You that you can just not feel anything. That's so cool. Oh, she's really pumping her full. Holy fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, that's like a lot of fucking Novocaine. Yeah, and said, oh, the core was not removed. That's why. 60 million. Isn't she supposed to let the Novocaine kick in for a minute? Okay. Is everybody ready? No. <sighs> we lost a lot of viewers. <laughs> Did you already get it? No, I didn't. I didn't want We're to. losing viewers. We're interrupting you. I'm sorry. We're always what? ignoring you. <laughs> no. I can't listen to no, it. It's like a little it's like plug in a faucet. like a disgusting surgery. <laughs> oh. This, this isn't plugs, even... Like those black pants yeah, yeah, in the faucet. Oh! oh God! That wasn't that bad. No, that actually wasn't no, that bad. No, 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 no. That's insane. Look. No, 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 no. It wasn't as bad as the other ones. It's actually super interesting. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my God. Look, Hila. You got to see it come out. It's not. Okay, okay. All right, all right. The other shit was way more disgusting. That was like. Yeah, I would say the uh, the cottage cheese see, was, see, like, I, was worse. done like medically. I can you see know. how this was satisfying because it like all came out in one pull and it was just a big crater. <laughs> this one is those other ones were just horrific, but I mean this is horrific, but uh, okay, not as bad. Um, it won't stick we are done you on know this what topic. I mean? So it's like a, it's just like your old it's little look at this. To stop. <laughs> how does that <laughs> heal? I wonder. <laughs> I it's think time. She was just talking I about am a comedian. Oh, stop. oh my god. This is your okay, Ela's Ela's giving me the out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, it's uh, two thirty, and uh, we got the the thing that we can't mention yet. Oh, is that we have something? At, uh, um, at 30, so. Is there anything else? Not really. We did it all there. Is there any other calls? Anyone uh, other comments? Any uh, donations we want to shout how out? We're gonna end the show. We have uh, one guy who's been in the call lobby with his essay. Okay. Let's oh, let's that. talk to him. All right. Mega awesome nerd is his name. Austin? Yeah, let me drop it in the server really quick if you guys want to look at some donations. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, we have yes. what is uh, do more blackhead popping. Uh, I don't think no, that's going to happen. No, no. Sorry, uh, uh, Smarsh. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. 
Um, but yeah, I can't uh, believe how that pimple Hila's is. over it, and Hila, what Hila says goes. So, uh, hey, Ethan, uh, all gas, no brakes. Just released some video from the Sturgis motorcycle rally on Insta. Go check it out. Uh, no we'll way. Definitely check that That's out. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm hanging out with him today. What? Wait, what? Yeah, he's coming over. What? Yeah, he moved to LA. He's coming to hang out. No way. When? He texted me tonight. Oh shit! Cool. Uh, well, very cool. Uh, what is this? Five dollar donation is just a crying oh. face. I'm assuming that's because of uh, because of these disgusting videos. And uh, there, I saw some earlier, but I hate that they expire. I maybe there's another way to see it, but uh, I don't know. If I missed your donation, I'm very sorry. I've been trying to keep up. I'm st I'm repeating that blackhead in my mind. <laughs> just that's stuck what on a loop I was there. Afraid of because. That's it's crazy, man. That's crazy. Anyway, do we have this guy, uh, um, Avery? This guy said the key to keeping weight off after losing it is a healthy personal relationship with food. No. No other way. Okay. <laughs> He's Can I tell you something, Ela, that I have a kind of a peeve to pick with you? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Okay. I didn't say it. Let me donation. say. No, it's not. Let me say something. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I say, I say here. sometimes I say... Because there's a lot of snacks and sweets and bullshit in the house. And as much as I'd like to be able to control myself, it's hard to sometimes when you just see it in the pantry or all over the place to skip. But, but, you, you but, but hold on. <laughs> but you say, you, you always say to me, Ethan, it's not my thing. You have to control your urges. But Ela, would you say that to an addict? Let's say I was like, I'm quitting drinking. Would you but leave we, alcohol and say, hey, it's your problem? No. I disagree because... I need that stuff because put it somewhere else is all I'm saying. Don't put you it in want front me to of me. Hide it? Where? It's in a but, pantry. But if I have an addiction to food, or then like just think about it. If you're like, hey, I like having a beer uh, every night. How about don't go in the pantry then? There's, Where do I, you want me to hide it? <laughs> I don't know, but you understand what I'm saying. Like you wouldn't say that to an addict. Like, dude, you just got to control your urges. You, you know, it's not my fault. I'm gonna drink a beer every night. So you're a food uh -huh. addict, is what you're asserting? Yeah, I think you? so. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, maybe you need to go to therapy. Yeah. Rather than a. But trainer. even if you're a recovering alcoholic, you're not going to leave alcohol over me, the house because it's triggering. I've, I feel like I've tried it, but like it's been so long. I need I'm that just, stuff in my I'm life. I'm just, I'm, I'm not telling you not to eat it. <laughs> I'm trying to gain weight too, and that stuff helps me gain I'm weight. I'm not like telling you not to eat it. <laughs> but what are you telling me to have? I don't it in know, a drawer, but I'm just saying, like, it, it's you're it, gonna find you that can't too. just blame the the person with the addiction, saying like you have to be stronger than, like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you, there's so much shit and candy in there; it's impossible. Like, I haven't there's eaten. There's not today. that much. You're making it sound like I have so much. Dude, there's a you guys' there's, closet's pretty. It's pretty bomb. There's stacked. Like, you yeah. hear Dan? It's, I mean, okay. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, know. I don't mean to go I against you. Like There's that. a lot of good ass. I'm used stuff. to exactly. having stuff in the house. Don't you see how you're, you're victim shaming? <laughs> I'm not victim shaming. I'm if you're like, I'm hey, dude, I like house. shooting up crack. I like to smoke crack. It's not my fault you have a problem. That's not what I said. I am acknowledging that I also have a problem and I'm trying to gain food. But you don't have and to gain but weight. But just and okay. that stuff helps me gain uh, weight. Okay, we fine. But I'm just saying it's not it's not cool to be like, dude, it's your responsibility to not eat this shit every, the, even though you walk past it 20 well, times a day. We should meet in the middle. What do you want to do on your side? Like, let, okay, maybe you say, Just put it somewhere else. Where? I don't know. There's a billion places. <laughs> you gotta hide it from him, like. Uh, well, okay, fine. I'm just saying. I think it's interesting that like someone who's trying to lose weight doesn't get that benefit of the doubt. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, dude, you have to control yourself. But they say I was reading. They're like, don't leave snacks all over the house because you're gonna fucking eat them. And I was like, yeah, and, you know. And and if I was living by myself, I wouldn't buy that shit. All right, I'll I put it pizza, in a secret and drawer. I love people. <laughs> love pizza and people. Yeah, but why are you making me feel guilty? That's the thing. Because if again, if I was an alcoholic, you wouldn't be like, dude. Well, it's I'm gonna keep time, my beer in the fridge where I always keep it. It's the first time that you're putting it this way. If you feel like that, just like Dan said, let's also talk about therapy. And second of all, 
I just feel like I've tried that. We've had no snacks in the house and it's not good for me. But it's been so long that you're like that. Like, it's not like you're asking me for a month, let's not have anything in the house. Like, you're just asking me to not have anything tasty my, in the house. Ob my observation was only about how the fat people don't get the benefit of the doubt as a drug addict. And I think fat people matter. Fat people lives matter. <laughs> All right. Do you find do do you think what I'm observing is interesting or no? You're asking me. That's a question for everybody. Or, oh. Yeah, who are you? Well, I mean, it, I mean, if you at first I wasn't sure if you were just memeing, but if you really do feel like you're a food addict, I mean, that's a you know. Well, I feel like all like, all fat people are probably food addicted. I guess to an extent. I mean, you do really you live an extremely uh, sedentary life too. I mean. It, if you if you did get the trainer and you started working out, you could probably. Well, I don't know. They probably tell you you need to cut back on calories too. But it's the combination. All right, get it's the cold. guy in the call. Wait, wait. Let me ask you: Are are you a stress eater? Like, do you binge eat? Um, sometimes not. It's not like it's not something that happens a lot. But binge eat. I mean, I don't. I don't. I don't think that really happens. Where I just like binge, where I'm like. Bleh. I mean, don't look at me. I don't know. <laughs> he looks mad. I am don't mad. You, don't you think that's an interesting <laughs> observation? I think you're not seeing the two sides. I know. I see your side. My you're not. It's not even... Look, I'm not even trying to attack. I'm not trying to attack you. I'm just saying fat people don't get that. Like, you would never say to a drug addict, hey, listen, you just got to control your urges, right? That's all I'm saying. So I wonder. Okay. Right. I just Fine. think that's it. Do you, you think also, that's interesting, Zach? You also Ian, don't expect. A, B. Uh, is it interesting? No. Let me talk. You also don't expect a drug addict to just get over it in one day, right? You go to rehab. You do all kinds of stuff to try to get out of it. So, if you want to really treat it that way, then let's treat it that way. It's just an observation, Ella. Well. Is it? Or are you just like, what? I mean, it sounds like you really think that, which I'm not saying it's necessarily I just thought, not true. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I do think that. I mean, a little bit. I just thought it was interesting, though. That's all. You're like backtracking now. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm, not necessarily saying, I'm not necessarily saying that I need to do 12 steps of not being a fatty. What is it called? 12 steps? Yeah, 12-step is yeah, okay. addiction well, program. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. All right. Pizza's actually very nutritious. What does Zach think? Because Zach actually <laughs> lost a lot of weight in his life. Well, I, I am a stress eater. That's why I asked that question. And I also occasionally binge eat, which is a problem for me. Mm. So I'm always going to have to be watching my weight the rest of my life. How um, did you manage to keep the, like, lose weight and then keep it that way? Well... My problem is I fluctuate. I yo-yo. Um, You're yo-yo. But I'm a yo-yo. Um, so I just have to monitor it because I know that the fat gene runs in my family and that I was heavy. And I don't want to go back to that place again. And I keep thinking to all the hardship I went through. So that always is a good thing to keep me motivated. Let's keep Zach beautiful. <laughs> or thin. Even. I mean, beauty is obviously... Not related to how fat you are, right? <laughs> sure. But in most people's eyes, it is. Okay, boring. Yeah, and again, uh, we're kind of coming up against it. I don't know if we have time for this other call. Oh, I'll probably uh, wrap it up. And Kimstar is going to say we have marital marital problems now. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, did we want to talk to this guy? Where is he? You want me to bring him in? Yeah. Okay. Do we not have time? She's in right now. We don't really have time. Oh. We're going to keep it brief. We've got to do the wrap up and everything. What's the wrap up? Bring him in. Bring him in. Okay. He's in. He's in right now. Okay, hey, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm the guy. I'm sorry for all the spam. <laughs> okay. Avery. Um, yeah. Avery Christmas, sir. That's right. So yeah. Avery's oh written a essay why he makes thinks he'd make a great caller. Without <laughs> reading this, Avery, first give me your most compelling point about why you'd make a great caller. Well, I think the reason why most compelling is because 
just my existence it's so weird people don't think i'm a real person i'm a 6 8 black dude with a size 18 shoes my last name's wow. a holiday thanks to slavery i gotta grow a dick i keep it wholesome and i got these crazy like bomb ass stories from just you know being 26 years old so yeah i i, I like people really wanted me on and like i've always been a huge fan from like your guys's growth from when you guys did the Patrice stuff and like the Papa John's like before you got big from prank and it's just been an honor watching you guys grow and stuff So I just wanted to you know give my props eventually but for some reason the chat thinks I'm really they really wanted me to get on over like hey, these other awesome Do you how often do you shower? How is your B.O.? Because I feel like <laughs> I might have someone that you might that might com be compatible with you Oh, wow. Okay, so this is weird. So, like, at first, I used to have to shower, like, I'm going to be honest, like, three times a day just mm. to smell neutral because mm. just because I'm, like, a large dude with, like, right. a height and also I'm a fat boy, like, I'm 380, so, oh. and I'm losing the weight, so, it, like... We all we got problems, man. Up. What did you think about oh, the conversation please. we were having as a big boy yourself? Uh, um, do you, do you I, sympathize with me or am I being over the top? I I sympathize with both sides, honestly, and mm. I don't know if she's trying to say that to be an H3H3 H3 simp, because <laughs> I do, because, <laughs> like, I do think that it is a bit of an addiction, and I had kind of a similar kind of problem, because, like, my mom, she was, like, super concerned for my health, obviously, and so my dad, like, my dad's overweight, and my mom used to be overweight, but she actually lost all the pounds, and mm. she's obviously concerned for my health, and at first... They were so on me about it, like, as if, like, I hadn't done it. And it's, like, there'd be times where I'm, like, doing really good. But then for some reason, whether it's just on a whim because maybe I'm impulsive or maybe because I just felt the pressure, I kind of fell off the wagon. But yeah. I feel like as I got older, even, like, now, like, I'm starting to keep it consistent and it feels different from the rest. And I know I said that a few times, but it's, like, I don't know, like, over time, it, like, I just started getting kind of sick and sick of it. Mm. And I think it's also a mixture of kind of learning to, like, love myself and, like, just knowing that, you know, I I am deserving of, like, a good change like that and willing to put in the effort. So what is I, um... I agree with you, but I also kind of agree with Hila because sometimes you do need those, like, extra steps and kind of that support. But some of that can be overbearing, you know? Well, should uh, uh, what's the most annoying thing about being fat for you? Because I have a few. Uh, mm. <laughs> well, man, dude, I think the insecurity problems. Because like, yeah. mm. I was also sometimes when people like aren't attracted to you because like you know me like I got I gotten over that like or like now I kind of have confidence in myself, but. Dude, you know I'm not getting any right swipes on Tinder anytime soon, so <laughs> well, it's a me, bit of a bummer. I understand. Well, <laughs> that girl, the girl we spoke to, sniff you. Sounds like you're re you're the perfect guy for her. But for me, it's the fact that my my thighs rub, dude. Straight up, dude, the thighs. I feel that, bro. I you can't get some of that handle the thigh that. rubbing, the chafing. All that shit is out of fucking Especially control, Especially when it's sweaty, bro. I feel that. Yeah. Like, right now my room has, like, no windows, so I feel it, like, hardcore. All right, Avery, let's lose some weight together. What do you say? Let's do it. I, I'm down, dude. Like, I'll get to... I'm aiming for 300, so if you want to make a goal... I'm going to hit the I'll Peloton. I'm going to hit the Peloton tonight, all right? Yeah, no, let's let's do it, man. Like, I've been on... Let's get some mayonnaise on, on Dan's head, all right? <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely want to get mayonnaise on his head. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, thank you, Avery. Take care. Let's. Uh, we'll hear from you again. We'll check in a little bit more when we've got more time, yeah. but uh, Merry Christmas. Definitely. Yeah, happy Hanukkah, dude. <laughs> all right, God bless you. His last name's Christmas, by the way, that's why. <clears throat> okay, do you have any last words for Keemstar, who's saying we have marital problems? I'll put my snacks in a secret drawer, and <laughs> we'll see what happens. No, but and he can report on that. <laughs> He's gonna report on <laughs> on the snack. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Kim, start just so you know, the key, the snacks are going in a drawer. Uh, our marriage is very healthy and beautiful. I love my wife, and uh, people are saying get a food safe. Well, wow, now that's pathetic. 
but it's a good idea. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what I was trying to say. I feel a little pathetic having like no a pathetic snack for drawer. me. It's pathetic for me, not you. For both of us, <laughs> you want me to have like a hidden. I'll be like, Eva, what's the set? What's the combination? I gotta. <laughs> do I also have to hide from you when I eat it too? Cause no. That's part of the problem. Eva, <laughs> what's the combo? <laughs> I need an Oreo. <laughs> Fucking Marlon Brando, uh, when he tried to lose weight, he used to chain his fridge like with a, a lock and key, and his wife had it. So there's this old story that he took a shotgun one night to the fridge to get it open. Oh, <laughs> that's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I totally believe that. That guy was a fucking nut. You're telling me that the fridge is locked and I can't get uh, some meat and cheese? Now, let's not get into this. <laughs> Guys, this has been an episode two of the H3 After Dark Live. It's been a fun time. It's been a great time. I've loved being here and sharing it with you. We've had a lot. We've had highs. We've had lows. Um, and everything in between, really, haven't we? Uh, but it's been a great time. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who donated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Big thank you to all of our sponsors. It, it does. It means so much to us. Uh, to deliver the best possible product to you guys. Four episodes per week coming soon. That I can promise. Okay? And with that being said, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Cody Co. is going up on Monday. Mm -hmm. and, uh, We're already up for members. Already up for members. So yeah. a lot of you guys have already been able to watch it. But uh, hey, HG Podcast Forever. They said we never return. And uh, they might be right. We'll, we'll find out on Monday. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm hungry. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. That was fun.